You're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy. You're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma- No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're okay. We're gonna go with it. Hello and welcome.
Damn. I, as we get into this, I, I don't even know, y'all. I'm so scared. I'm also very excited to get into this last episode, this last level of Arcade Spirits. Um, yeah. Hey, Ben. How's it going? How we doing? How we feeling? Oh my god, here we go. Now we got the music going. Now we've got everything happening. My my OBS still doesn't like this. It's, actually, no, it's Steam. I'm gonna blame Steam on this one. OBS is great and loves me. It's already got some strop frames. Yes, I do. Yes, Survivor. I do remember Survivor Man. Mostly because every time I tried to search Survivor to watch episodes of Survivor, uh, Survivor Man would come up instead. But I've also watched a little bit of it. <laughs> Why? I'm curious. Is my is my Parker name twin on there now? For some reason? Side note. I am wearing the most appropriate shirt for the day! Oh my god, for real? Oh, that's so cool. Like where what how what what like what was the occasion? I'm just curious. That's so cool. Hatsu flower! Look, see, I legitimately have one of the shirts. <laughs> I actually picked it up and it came in. I had an argument with Redbubble, but that's okay. Got all nervous when I went to move. That's so cool. Oh, y'all, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm not emotionally ready. <laughs> not emotionally ready for this to end, but that's fine because we're just gonna play through a lot more and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good times. Okay, I'm actually just gonna get. Oh. Also, oh my God. So, hey BK, I think we are finishing it today. Uh, this is the last level. So unless anything drastic happens and I need to rage quit, um, please do. That's so cool. Um, unless anything happens and I need to rage quit, like we're good. We're finishing this. I am not emotionally prepared, but that's okay. I am like personally prepared with my shirt and everything. Uh, I look the part, but otherwise, um, I'm both excited and terrified. Also, the soundtrack is on Spotify. I need to really still move off the Spotify, but there's a really cool like lo-fi mix on YouTube. Have I been listening to that all day? Yes, it's fine. I'm fine. I don't. I don't have a problem. Thank you. This is not about winning and losing. Maybe it never really was. Um, I'm sorry. I would like to disagree with myself. Because I'm pretty sure earlier me had different opinions. This is about deciding who you are and what you believe in. It's about making a stand. Don't know if it's possible to win. We fought hard to reach the end of the road, but the final result is going to be tainted. Odds are we won't be granted the title of champion even if we do somehow win. But I don't care anymore. I will stand resolute against the ones who want me to fade away. Valkyrie and my own self-loathing. Because even if I can't win, I will not lose. Dang. Feeling powerful. I almost, so this song is playing as I joined a meeting and I almost forgot to turn it off. So like that was literally almost me as I joined a call today. It's good, we're fine. Everything's fine. It's the distant future year, 20 something or other. And we're apparently all that stands against the dark future of esports corruption. It's Lata. Okay, thank you. Probably good. I have a second one, so I know what this one doesn't look like there's a lot left in there. I have an entire backup water. We're good. We're doing okay with us. Um Sorry, I'm gonna keep dancing, it's fine. Uh it's not exactly it's not exactly what I was aiming to accomplish when I started on this path, but you play the game in front of you, not the game you wanted to play. That's unfortunate. Valkyrie's rising her iris... Val... <laughs> procrastinating pretty much my life. You know what my favorite term is? Well, one of them, procrastinating, which is when I start baking when I don't want to deal with anything else in my life. For the record, it's pretty frequent. It's wonderful. <laughs> Valkyrie's forcing her iris to cheat at FOD2 so she can rise all the way to the top. What's more... She's proven ready and willing to hurt anyone who stands against her. Naturally, I've chosen to, I've chosen to stand against this. Not a smart move for my continued well-being, but if I care one whit about fair play or even human decency, there's no other option. 
Uh, sorry, checking one thing real, real quick. I'm um, just doing that. Taxes, bills, chores, laundry. <laughs> you say bake more cupcakes, okay? Pretty much. Pineapple angel food cake. Oh, that sounds delightful. Love that. Yeah, anytime I'm like, oh, I gotta go deal with any number of things. I'm like, mm, you know, it'd be more fun not doing that. Uh, it would be a heck of a lot more fun to just, you know, not. Naturally, I've chosen to stand against this. I love cupcakes. I'm actually making cupcakes for, I've got a work thing later this week, so I've got to go into the office, but I've decided to make cupcakes and it's going to be great. Am I going to use that as a reason to not do vacuuming? I, okay, hear me out. I am glad I live alone sometimes because the amount of times I put off vacuuming in a week is like, hi, Katsy. Hi, sweetie. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm keeping it really simple. So we're doing a brown butter, uh, brown butter cake. Um, with a vanilla syrup soak, which I've already made, thank God. Vanilla bean syrup soak. Um, and then I'm going to do a, like, lemon buttercream icing. And then some, uh, I'm going to do some macerated strawberries on top. And I'm doing them in little, like, jars and stuff like that is currently the plan. So, I think it'll be good. I think it'll turn out. I no longer know if I have enough jars, though. <laughs> uh, only if you want to show up Thursday morning, because guess what? I'm not at the gym that morning, so we're getting up early to bake it then. I'm prepping all the components. Like, I'll do icing probably tonight or tomorrow night just because I've got, like, 20 million other things. Um, because I have a work event I have to be at tomorrow night. So I'm like, oh, look. I'm going to be getting up early Thursday morning to do this. But I have very few. I only have meetings in the afternoon that day. So I can kind of bounce in between the kitchen and the desk. So I'm procrastinating from also working. Yes. It's okay. They don't need to know that. They don't need to be aware of that at all. Anyways, we're fine. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that. I appreciate that. Oh, my life. We really, we're like procrasti something now. Not, I mean, it's still procrastinating, but now it's like procrasti procrastinating. I'm trying to find a fun way to do it of like how I get on tangents. Procrasti tangent. Where I just intentionally keep going on additional tangents because I don't want this game to end. Um, although it won't really end, I am planning on going through a couple of other playthroughs with other characters. Um, and I'll probably do most of those on stream just because I think it'd be fun to showcase that area. But I, mean, I love this game. Ooh, diabetic friendly is good. Actually, I actually have a client who might enjoy that then. Um, but yeah. Oh, I love baking. But yeah, I'm keeping my recipe. I, I, that's actually, believe it or not, a very simple recipe by comparison to a lot of what other ones I do. Mostly because I didn't want to do too many. Cr oh, but I am going to also probably add an almond oat crumble to it as well as a like crunchy component. Because otherwise it's a lot of soft. Hi, hi, BK. Yes. Yes. Have you eaten today? Have you eaten today, BK? Can I help you? The show must go on. You're not wrong, but hear me out. I actually struggled with this with, I think, when I was finishing Mass Effect 3. I uh, put off finish. I knew I was at, like, the end game, and I was like, but hear me out. I don't finish it. It never ends emotionally, right? <laughs> and then I finished it anyways. Anyways. Oh, goodness. Okay, so naturally I've chosen to stand against this. Not a smart move. For oh, yeah. For We're good. But I can't just call hacks on her. Nobody would believe us. We need evidence. We need sway. We need to sway the Pro Tour organizers to hear that evidence. Not a task M7 can accomplish alone. We're going to need a leverage. Side quest for days if you don't have to end game. It's so true. Oh my god. I am the worst for side quests when I don't want to end a game. I'm eating right now. Oh good. Fresh cooked rice with some slow cooked beans. Nice. Yum. Good. I did a lot of food prep, surprisingly, after last night's stream. Um, I basically took, I had a ton of chicken, cooked it off in a variety of different ways. Um, so that way I could easy reheat through the week. Even though I'm like, I'm out Wednesday and Thursday. Katsy, I didn't think you would be here today. Sorry. I just remembered. I thought you were busy. <laughs> Anyways, hi. You missed an emotional roller coaster that was yesterday. For the record, for those of you who didn't see yesterday's, oh, also content warnings. I'm gonna, I actually updated it properly. Do I remember what my own command is? 
I did the right one. Sorry, I don't know my own. I don't know my fruits. Um, thanks, TikTok. Okay, so this is a content warning. This is relevant to um, today's. I still spelled some part of it wrong. May contain upsetting content. I don't know what's wrong with me. Stretch. Okay, I stretch while I recap. How about that? So, last we left off, we were at Pengy's Paradise. We chose to go on a date with Loxley. Or to pursue Loxley. Because we thought that'd be fun. Turns out that turned into arson. Ow. Ooh, that was a crack. Um, so, date with Loxley turned into arson. Also, we found out Loxley's real name is Melvin. We are loving this fact. Um, so that was great. Like any good date does, right? Uh, poor boy is so awkward and so such... I love him. He's so awkward and he tried to... He did the whole trying too hard thing. Hence it all literally going up in flames. And I'm like, baby, sweetheart, darling. Oh, you didn't need to. The arson's pretty funny now, though. Um, and then... Basically, after everything that had kind of gone down, we went back home, realized, like, and we, so we tried to meet up for the team practice the next day. Nobody showed up, so we kind of went, dealt with all of those things. Um, accidental arson while committing very intentional identity theft. That was pretty funny. There was just a lot of big gay do crime. There was just a lot of that. There was a lot, very heavy on the do crime. So heavy on the do crime. Uh love him though love that sweet sweet melvin um <laughs> i'm still in love with that name anyway so then um we finally got everybody kind of rallied together mostly in the sense of okay we'll pick up practice tomorrow and then coda calls and coda um has been cyber bullied so much that they decide to try to end their life which was a very heavy moment um, and then that had a serious impact on all of us and I think triggered something in the Polybius, uh, brainwashing that basically made me, my kid, me, the person character in here, go a little bit overboard in the, we need to win, there is no other way. And we started overworking the team like hardcore. Uh, so they planned and staged an intervention where we got to literally play as Loxley for a hot minute, which was really cool. Um, and the other reason why I want to keep going through this because I want to see what it's like to play the other people because apparently it's uh, whoever you romance so it's Really neat really cool uh, and then They stage an intervention My cousin aka my former self shows up for part of it Apparently if you don't import your data, uh, it's Queen B and she's pissed AF at you and I love that um and, oh, and then at the end of the episode, we learned that Valkyrie not only hacked the FOD2 machine to make it so she won. Oh, because we did the tournament at Panky's Paradise and we lost, like, full out, no questions asked, zero points to our name. So we were absolutely decimated. Um, that was the reason why everybody, nobody showed up to practice afterwards and there was some patching up to do. Um, but where we had to talk Loxley off of breaking Blitz's legs. Oh, but Valkyrie basically we determined it cheated, full on cheated by hacking the FOD2 machine. And then in addition to that, may or may not have hacked um, Coda's medical records and took him off his antidepressants and kind of more or less pushed him in the direction that he went. So we're really mad at her and we are heading into, so we actually already had enough points a while ago to make it to the pro tour finale. Which is awesome, so that's what we're leading into. Um, but we're also trying to find a way, because we're playing against Team Play to win. Oh, and our best friend Cupcake, uh, our rival Cupcake, uh, said that they could never speak to us again. There was a lot of emotions and drama yesterday. And I'm sure I'm missing something, too. I feel like there's another arson attempt in there somewhere I missed. I don't even know. But anyway, it was, it was, Yeah. The, the end of chapter five, the all of chapter six and all of chapter seven. We got through a lot yesterday. There was a lot of emotions. Anyway, so we need leverage. Before I can arrange any sort of leverage. Jeez, that'll just me. I, well, yeah, I kind of maybe went for like three hours and 15 minutes. And I wasn't doing this. I wasn't like ad-libbing. I wasn't like procrastinating like I normally do. Or getting on tangents or talking about food. 
Like it was, it was, it was, there was a lot. There was just a lot. That was a very all over the place response. I'm so sorry. The one thing I think I like lamented on multiple times is content warnings. That was the biggest piece, um, which I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna do that quick edit. Levels one to five are cute fun times with friends and love. Levels six to eight are tearing your heart out of your chest and stomping on it repeatedly. Yup. Yeah, and I had a strong feeling we were going in that direction because I remember the first game. Like that's the benefit um, may contain. That was the upside to me having only played the first game like back in February, fortunately. So like it was still fairly fresh in my mind. Um, of like, I remember when this went to hell. So I had a feeling. Levels one through five are, they're cute fun times with a little bit of haunted arcade machine though, which mm, legitimately scares me. I don't, that is that is the thing that scares me. Anyways, before I can arrange any sort of leverage, it seems I've got one last task on my list to take care of. Temptation. What do you mean, temptation? Anyways, uh, here I am in the belly of the beast, the penthouse layer of team play to win. Damn, it looks dope though. We find out who's haunting the arcade. It's still, well, it's the it's the AI program. That's the thing. We're still the 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 police are still after it. I mean, we were, we haven't really had much of a run in since the since it at max. Although Domino's. Come on, come on, OBS. There you go. Uh, Domino's. Come on. Um, Domino's aunt works for the police, but more on like the social work side of things. Yes, the soundtrack is out on Spotify. I have already favored it. Favorited it. Thank God. Um, cause yeah, I. It's so good. It just genuinely like that's gonna become my new work playlist for a hot minute at least the next month the contract is it's so killer yeah yeah so can't see whatever you use there's also a really cool lo-fi beats thing featuring jinx on youtube i retweeted it out earlier so that is the best that is an easy way but it's so good at the top of the skyscraper is if attempting to rival mount olympus <laughs> brb it's so um, as of attempting to ma rival Mount Olympus, PTW work and play and work and play and work and work and play and work and play. All in the command of one Victoria Proud. Valkyrie, coach, manager, order, or owner, cheat, swindler, arguably also an attempted murderer. And of course, our players have private rooms. I know most of your team are playing bunk mates to save money, but here we I wonder if I'm gonna have a chance to. I should not want to punch. I I decked Deco Nami. <laughs> not gonna lie, very happy with that life choice still. And the view's terrific from up here, of course. There's also a hot tub on the deck when you want to relax after a hard day of training. We've got all the energy drinks you could want in our seven different fridges. I not along, only half paying attention to her sales pitch. I'm just glaring at her. Valkyrie arranged this meeting with me, and while I have my guesses as to why, she's happier to give me the tour first. None of it sways me, but I pretend to care as she lists, hey Alex, how's it going? But I pretend to care as she lists the many perks of being part of Team P2W. How was your uh, meeting earlier, like early today? Also, you probably ducked at a great time because I kept playing for a very long time we went until about quarter after uh, eight last night. We did a long one. It was really good. And I really, like, I... I did not want to stop. But I also felt like I should leave episode eight, like level eight to here. Anyways. Yeah, seven different fridges. Also, like, so their utility bill also include the idea of, like, how many arcades they probably have here. No, they're, it's insane. It's gonna be through the roof. Oh yeah, check the VOD. Uh, lots of lo lots and lots and lots of content warnings though. Um, they're set all throughout the stream too, but uh, uh, sh shit got real real. Um, things got super real yesterday. 
depending on when you left, it got very real. Uh, if you remember where you left, I can I can fill in the rest to the best of my memory, but right now we're visiting this mofo's abode. Mofo abode. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Flexing our power and wealth before we get down to business. Of course, we're well stocked with products provided by all our sponsors. So we're never lacking for gear or snacks. Yeah, like the sponsor you stole from me? Still not over that one. Hmm. I sense you're not amused by our humble abode. Not really. You want to get on with business, yes? Yeah. Okay. Tour over. Yeah. Let's talk. Okay. She pauses, letting the whole aura of the place sink in and entice me before speaking. I invited you here today for one simple reason. I want to recruit you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I was wondering when she would try this. This is exactly what Dako Nami tried to do, and I turned him down too. I know. We've been at each other's throats since the start of this. We've been destined to face each other in the finals. So you're thinking, why would Val extend the honor branch? Because it would ensure your victory. I'll tell you. The fact of the matter is that you're going to lose the championship. That's exactly it. That's when you know they're scared. Yep. Remember, I told you we beat you at Pendy Paradise and I wasn't lying. This is no different. You can't win this one. Ugh. This can't just be overconfidence. She's going to cheat. This time we're ready. We're going to set the trap, bait her into it. When she cheats, we'll be ready. But why offer to hire me for her team if she knows she can stop us easily? May as well just ask. I don't get it. Why? Are you hoping I'll back out of the tournament? No. Play to win needs to defeat your team in a fully sanctioned and official match. Until now, we've only beaten your team in unofficial show matches. And I want it on record. And once the dust settles from this, once your team is shown to be nothing but a squad of laundromat casuals, there's no reason you can't switch sides and join the real champions. See that ambition of yours through to the end. She wants me to go in so then I throw it. I'm sure you care about your friends, and that's noble. But you also know they aren't winners. Not like you. Pushing them to become a professional team was a mistake. It's time to realize that and realize the only path to your glory lies with me. Yeah. My vision? After you lose the finals, your team disbands, and you join me. Everybody wins. Except for you know the rest of my team. Just saying. Also, that requires us to lose the finals. Sound good to you? No. <laughs> what, and work myself to death on your yoke? Nah. Going with this one. You keep bragging about your hot tubs and your pool table and your arcade games, but honestly, I just see unused toys. Look at the dust on those joysticks. You work your team to the bone, pushing them hard for glory of the championship, for your glory, and I'm done being a part of that sort of thing. Well, then she can just as easily pull out the rug from you under you lose the match. 100%. Oh, Alex, you don't even know the half of it. She cheated in that Pengi Paradise game, and she may have been... She is... She is... Not so inadvertently is the reason why Coda tried to unalive themselves. Like, it is... She, she needs, oh, she's a piece of work. I've come to understand something, Valkyrie. A win isn't worth it if you destroy yourself getting across the finish line. So you can take your generous offer and stick it straight up your, how insidious. <laughs> Smart. I can see we can't come to terms. It's a pity. I did my best. You can go now. This meeting is over. Obligingly, I turn to leave. But there's one more thing I could do. It's risky. It's possibly a terrible idea, honestly, but maybe it's the right thing to do. I feel a decision coming on. I don't think she gets a second chance. She's technically had multiple. I... Uh... I would have given her this if she hadn't done what she did to Coda. 
I would let her have an opportunity to fess up. But right now, no. I, I, what she did to Coda goes beyond. If it was just the game, that's one thing. The fact is you fired him from the team and you could have left him well enough alone and you should have. And yeah, no, that's exactly it. OBS, I swear. OBS. There we go. Um, what she did to Coda was unnecessary. It was cruel. It was... Okay, that's good. Sorry, I'm like paranoid at this point. Yeah, no, no second chance. She... No, I can't offer her a chance to end her wicked ways. She's already done too much harm to let her skate on this. And if I made the attempt and she refused to do the right thing, it may tip our hand about the trap that awaits her. Until we meet again, Miss Proud. This course was locked in long ago. Now the only opportunity she gets is an opportunity to expose her own crimes. Provided we can set the trap properly without destroying ourselves in the process. What are we doing? All right, back home, back home, back home. One trap thoroughly baited. Except for one teensy weensy little problem. We don't actually have a trap yet. Just a pile of bait waiting around for it, waiting for a proper trap to be built around it. What do you mean? Rogue, you're not super great at metaphors. Hey, at least they're consistently bad at them. There's something we said for consistency. <laughs> Blackmail. However, I have a fine array of steel jawed traps available for choosing. That's why I've got the team today. I want us to select the means by which we shall enact ju justice upon Valkyrie. A bit concerning, that. Indeed. We must be thoughtful in matters of justice. In dealing with Coda, we were a bit thoughtless. We can do better. We need to make sure Valkyrie's crimes are exposed, but also do it in a way that's fair and efficient. Okay. Some of my proposals may not meet those standards. But hear me out! I want to lay out everything on the table before we decide. I have concerns over our options. What did I come up with? I think we have four options here. I'm confident in my ability to make all four work, so it's just a question of which one we want to run with. The first candidate on offer is probably the most obvious one. Punchy78, lead reporter on for Fight Shack. Spoken to him before, and he seemed eager to support our team. Maybe it's just for the clicks on his articles about us, but does that really matter? Punchy's been following our rivalry with Team Play to win closely and keeping the public informed, so involving him is a natural next step. We did also become buddies with him. It's simple enough. We tell Punchy78 everything we know about Valkyrie's crimes, offer juicy details for his website, get everything out there for the public to see. And in return, he uses connections to get us before the Pro Tour organizers so we convince them to run Grace's anti-cheat detection software. We catch Valkyrie in the trap, expose her cheating, and fight Shaq's right there to get the word out far and wide. I see your point. I have worked with Fight Shaq in the past. Punchy would be more than happy to help us out. He's a great guy. I anticipate failure. Except he's also given Valkyrie just as much glowing praise. Her comeback story wouldn't have been possible without Fight Shaq. Bad idea. He used to do freelance copy editing for websites before we turned pro. Trust me when I say the press can and will spin anything for more ad revenue and more clicks. Oh, that's far too real. I've seen that. It's annoying as all get out. And even if Punchy's totally in our corner, Valkyrie's adept at manipulating the public image. She could easily sub out from under this. It, it doesn't even matter necessarily with an exclusive though, because some people will take interviews run by other people. Doesn't matter if it like doesn't matter if it's exclusive or not. And they'll basically take it and reword it to create their own article for clicks on their site. And the problem is the person being interviewed doesn't even know about it. I've, I've seen it up close. Like, it's not, not to me, but I've seen, like, it's not good. So it's very still easily manipulated. Unless it's, like, a video interview and, what, like, it's a little hard to manipulate that, but they could still reprint as a print article. Uh, okay, well, I have another option. If we want, if, we, if what we want is justice, there's a direct and simple appeal we can make. We call the cops on her and they sort this mess out. Interesting. On the night of the Coda incident, I spoke with an officer in charge of cybercrime, fraud, harassment, things like that. Detective G. Wucho. 
The cops are supposed to be the ones you can call at times like these, and this is Domino's aunt. We can have some confidence. We'll see justice done. Sure thing. Trust me, auntie's on the level. She's one of the only people in my family who gives a single solitary fuck about me. She would make this work. In this game, though, it was earlier established that the cops have been defunded and reorganized. We did determine that in, I think, episode- in level 7. Cops, seriously? No freaking way. We don't need the pigs in on this. Sorry, Dom, but auntie or no auntie, bacon always smells like bacon. No thanks. Zap's right. This would result in a much larger scale public scandal, putting us in the scene in a bad light. That is actually slightly more so where I am concerned. I, the problem is I think it's going to hurt the community. Yeah, it's worried. I'm worried about the health of the esports community. If you keep it within the community, that's one thing. But if you take it to more of a, like, national stance, it becomes an issue. It, it becomes more problematic. Okay, so there's another option. Although it's even riskier, I'll warn. I know it's going to sound ridiculous, but you know me. and I, You know I wouldn't lie to you about something this important. Back at Max... I was contacted by a mysterious woman in black from some unknown branch of the federal government. This is where I'm like, mm, I don't even feel good about this one. For reasons a bit too weird to get into involving my brain nearly getting scrubbed by uh, a haunted arcade game. What? Bear with me. The agent said if I had any information about someone abusing technology behind Iris, I should call her. The problem is this could lead back to the collective. To the group that's protecting the rest of the Iris Collective. Like, it could get back to Ghost Monsters. We know Valkyrie's manipulating her Iris to dominate the scene, cheating a contest, and harassing her enemies into the grave. Abusing tech is this woman is trying to control. This is risky. This is possibly the same one who shut down the Iris Project because of its strange origins. But she is a strong contender for making this whole situation go away. Something keenly appealing about Valkyrie vanishing to some CIA prison, assuming this is whatever this supposed mystery woman is CIA, NSA, or FBI, or whatever. Trust you when you say you aren't making up this weirdness. I'm in favor of a measured but risky play. I say, why not? Yep, the two, I was like, those two are going to show up. Grayson and Loxley are not. She has a yeah, strong contender for making everybody go away. Why not? Because, because that's the woman who nearly murdered Iris. Rogue is right. She was involved in the shutdown. Now we want her to handle someone abusing an Iris. We can't risk it. She's the one who just demanded Iris be killed. She's been the one I've been scared of. The reason I haven't been involved in Iris's life. This is a two birds, one stone situation. I've thought it through in returning, in return for offering up a criminal abusing Iris's technology. We can negotiate a peace treaty, get her off Iris's back. How do you know that's even going to work? This could be both for M7 and the Iris Collective. A long shot, an extremely long shot. I have my doubts about this, and I believe you know why. Yeah, I... She would sooner make us all go away than come up with a peace solution. I can do it. Do it. You turn me loose, and you'll see what I can do. Play our cards right. We can secure justice and, for Valkyrie and justice for Iris. And that brings me to the, the, the potential loss is far too great. That's just, Exactly. That's the problem. We might... Finally, it brings me to the final option, which might be the most extreme one of the bunch. We have an in with the team that's running the Iris Collective. A gang of justice-minded hackers. Rogue. Can't. Do I get a choice in outing him? I don't kind of want to. Sorry, I'm like very... I, I have no qualms! Would I give you an option that just ends the game and ruins everything? No. I would hope not. <laughs> this isn't the time for cloak and dagger. It's high time we pull out all our cards on the table, Oxley. Do you agree? Huh? I see it. I see. So be it for the glory of Magnificent Seven and for justice itself. <laughs> I don't think they would. This, like... No matter what, the first game was ending. Like, there's going to be a good ending. There's going to be a happy ending. They put us through enough of an emotional roller coaster. I don't anticipate a bad ending but there's always sometimes the not so great endings i am 
I'm involved with a group called the Ghost Monsters. They are indeed the anonymous hacker group behind the Iris Collective. I like to tease in this direct, but yes, seriously, this is one of those design pillars of both games that don't let you choose wrong and destroy everything. Yeah. We're gonna get paranoid as hell about it, but also... It's kind of like when we were making so many decisions about who our sponsor was, who, what kind of arcade we were making. Yeah, and even that you can replay. That's what I figured. Um, but no, I figured the... Because uh, no matter what choices you made, you're still going to get a good decision. It's just a different flavor decision. But it's still good. Loxley. My true purpose here is to watch over Grace to ensure she remains safe and free from involvement in our crimes. The Iris has tasked us with this out of love for their creator. I offer my sincere apologies. I'm sorry, Grace. I'm sorry, everyone. My original reason for coming to Good Clean Fun was subterfuge. Huh. What? What? That explains a few things, notably why you're so keen on spending time with Grace. Huh. I wasn't expecting to get involved in an international cloak and dagger affair, and yet here we are. We trusted you. As friends, companions, teammates, this was all a farce? On the contrary, I believe it to be real with all my heart. I hold fast to those I care about, and I consider you all my cherished friends. But the honest truth of it was my original purpose was dishonorable. If you wish me to depart the team, I will understand- I already knew. I mean, not surprised. Grace is kind of a genius. So, I knew. I knew all along that you were working with Iris. I am very smart, you know. There's no fooling her. That's wonderful. But I, I also knew you did it out of love. Love for Iris, and so I didn't say anything. That kept us all safe, and I didn't want you to feel like you failed in your mission. Baby! God, she's good. I, I apologize. I failed in more ways than I can count. You know what's really cute? Thinking back now to the very first level when, like, you can go break- you have to go deal with, um, team play to win screwing around with people. And Loxley very intentionally tries to go- like, tries to do what he can to save Grace's game from being destroyed by Blitz. It's kind of even cuter, like, thinking back on that now. Anyways, side note. There's nothing to apologize for. You're in a difficult position. And if I can forgive any supposed transgression, I s hope the rest of the M7 can too, right? Okay, sure. Why not? I am generally in favor of sneaky bastards fighting for the side of good. And it's not like we aren't already knee-deep in weirdness, so hey, damage done, move on. Can't say I'm thrilled, but it's Grace's call as the person most affected. I trust her judgment. You should, too. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> I know, Zapper's got some great reactions to these things, and it always, I love it. I am 15 different flavors of confusion right now. Bottom line it for me, please. Are we going to jail? We should be in the clear, Zap. Even if one of our team is a cyber criminal with pirated software, we're hardly accomplices. But let's put that aside and focus on the original point. Loxley's allies, the ones running the Iris Collective, could help us. How? Ah, right. Let me continue. Loxley's help. We can reach out to them and ask the ghost monsters to dig up solid evidence on Valkyrie's crimes and then leak it all to the internet. They can also likely help us get the anti-cheat software installed so that we can, we can detect Valkyrie's crimes live and direct. Honestly, this is the most powerful option we have on the table. It sinks us in deeper and deeper into a wild conspiracy, but it's a strong win. The court of public opinion will take over after all the dirt comes out. We walk free with all the plausible deniability Rhapsody mentioned. Okay, this is too much. Can we dial it back from Hollywood thriller levels and just focus on getting Valkyrie slam dunked in public? Love her. Yeah, even if this would be a near instant win for us, we'd be better off not digging ourselves any deeper than we need to. I don't know. I like that option a lot more than the others. Is that weird? We asked, okay, so those are the options we have on the table. We asked Henshi78 for help working within esports to let Valkyrie be tried in the media. She may weasel her way out of it somehow, but it's clean and ethical. We call in Detective Cho to bring Valkyrie to justice, clean up the gaming scene in the process through heavy-handed but legitimate channels. We take the gamble and get the woman in black to quietly handle this matter even and maybe even save Iris from this old enemy. Or we turn to the anonymous hackers known as the Ghost Monsters to completely obliterate Valkyrie from orbit with digital evidence. I feel like this is what you intended to, Flower, with like 
strongly bolded words that everything will work. I will make them work, so don't be afraid of failure. But given every single option it has had people for and against, I'm not sure we should go with. All those in favor of dumping this decision wholly on the head of our coach slash manager slash cat wrangler so we don't have to deal with this nonsense ourselves. Yeah, listen, I am... I quite literally told Iris at the start of this whole thing that I was in favor of blackmail. So... It's not even we're asking for blackmail, we're just asking for actual concrete evidence. Which if they can get... They brought down Deco and Ami, technically, so... I mean, that was with a lot of their own personal testimony, but you know. Yeah, okay. Plus that way, if someone goes to jail, it's not me. Valid. I trust Rogue's decisions. A great team manager and a good friend. I'm sure their choice will work out fine, right? I have concerns, but loyalty means faith and trust. I will trust in you and put your faith in your strategy. Me, I'm thinking this is one reason we, why we pay you the big bucks. You can deal with crap like this. Do you even actually pay me? Technically, the sponsors pay me. I'm not sure if I get any more money than the rest of you. You don't pay me anything. There we go. Thank you. Point is, you should go with what your heart tells you, okay? Okay. Thank you, everyone. I'm certain I can make any of these options work. I wouldn't have brought them up as options if I wasn't sure of that. With that in mind, the ally we're, the ally we're going to choose will be... Honestly, I'm going ghost mom. I can't. I'm aware that it makes certain people upset. However. I am also of the mindset like this just. Ghost monsters we destroy her via leaked information. I don't know. I don't know. That's my choice right now. I think our best bet is Loxley's hacker buddies. All we need to do is expose her sins. They don't need to do go through official channels to get that job done. That also gives us plausible deniability. When everything goes down, we won't be the ones airing her dirty laundry. Fine line to walk, and I'd like to not repeat the mistakes of shame and coda. We air true sins and true sins alone, not simply grievances that grant us advantage. I'll need to make some arrangements. My allies won't reach out to you directly. I can play man in the middle. Okay, we'll take care of this together. No need to involve anybody else on the team. I could help. Iris is my creation and they're protecting her. I wouldn't suggest it. If this doesn't end as cleanly as intended, I'd rather not, you not get caught up in our mistakes. I I suppose I shouldn't risk involving myself. Not after Loxley went through such legs to keep me safe from all this. But be careful, please. I don't want either of you getting hurt. We'll be careful. Promise. I should make some calls. This won't take but a moment. Maybe I should have gone with the safer option, worked with the cops, talked to the press, but Valkyrie could have slipped out from under us if we tried to play this safe. I want to put this to bed. Show the world what she is and let the chips fall where they may. I don't know. This, I, yeah. This is... No careful, no problem. Yeah. Within an hour, Loxley informed me that the meeting was arranged, a clandestine gathering behind cl good, clean fun. Also, low-key want to see Sue again. Not gonna lie, are there a couple of other, like, unintentioned uh, reason reasons here? Yes. I'll be honest. Although, Auntie was also hot. <laughs> was I mostly choosing, like, am I just choosing the hot option? Auntie was also a very solid choice because she's cute. Anyways, we're good. No way, Mira, my, his, uh, no way his allies would expose their actual location to me, nor did I really want to know where Iris' servers were housed. The less I knew, the better. Fine. <laughs> I have more water. <laughs> I came prepared today. I know how I am. I know the person I am. So, like, they're called the ghost monsters. Really? Like, the Pac-Man ghosts? You merely adopted the arcade rogue. We were born in it, molded by it. Just seems like a bit of a silly name for an internationally wanted hacker gang rugging rogue servers housing power da dangerously powerful AI. Literally, like, in for a penny, in for a pound is, I guess, where I went with this playthrough. 
The silly name can be disarming, yes? Hiding one's true strength behind a playful exterior? A technique sadly adopted by many who crave injustice, but I assure you that we are on the side of good. Well, more like chaotic good. Ah, my ever consistent alignment. That's all I know how to do, okay, guys? Friends. Uh huh, and who are we meeting Me. with? I mean, yes, hi. You're meeting with me. Listen! Can we fault me here? She grew up great. That sounds weird. I should not put it like that. But, like, she's looking badass, and I love her. I could cosplay her. Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> like... Hair is obviously easy. I just need to get extensions and I can make this happen. The shirt I can order and I kind of want to now. Pants I could, like, I could buy. I know, right? Like, I could do this. Makeup's easy. That's fine. I am, like, so seriously. Mostly because, like, I would want those shorts anyways. And the shirt's so cute. I think, Katzy, I think the shirt's on Redbubble. <laughs> so, you know, after I just had that, like, argument with him. <laughs> so, I might be going back and getting more. Anyways, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm sure, I'm sure I must. Listen, I, I've gone through, I've had multiple, I want, they were, it was never a phase, Mom, okay? <laughs> I think, I'm sure I have them still somewhere. Um, and if not, that's. This is, these are all pieces that I would pick up and own happily, personally. The one thing I'm going to have to zoom in on later and figure out is that necklace. It's kind of curious. Anyways. Anyways, this might be a future, future cosplay. But, like, easy. Anyways. It is. Make sure you get a cut. Yeah, that allows for the tie in the front, which is easy enough. Chains. Oh, yeah. The chains I've got easy. So nighty. Yeah, but I love it. Okay. It's so good. Black leggings, easy enough. Like, black tights underneath. I probably get some big boots to go with it. Because that just feels like her vibe. Um, the shorts I'm going to have to find and or make. And that's fine because that's an easy enough thing to do. <laughs> you're not poking fun. You're enjoying it? Anyways. <laughs> but the rest of it, like, it's so easy. Okay. Reminiscing? Yeah. Ah. Uh, loved it. Love this. Young woman, probably a few years younger than me. Oh yeah, because I haven't met Sue. I was with, I was just Loxley when we did this. Forgot that was a weird moment. Um, young woman, probably a few years younger than me, slips out from the shadows of the alley. Could have been standing there the whole time, for all I know. Oh, this your new partner? Indeed. Huh. Expected you to be taller. I'm still taller than you. Name Sue. Hacker extraordinaire and leader of the Ghost Monsters. The ones Loxley called friends long before he called you his friends. It's also known as Tsunami. Very accurate name. Pleased to meet you. Well, Loxley says you want our help. We've got 15 minutes before the traffic cams in the air reboot, and I need a scram, so get on with it. I'm a semi public figure, so I hope you appreciate me popping my head up to chat with you like this. Normally, I don't go this far for a stranger. Semi public? Wait, Sue. You're Tsunami. Daughter of that weirdo who used to run the palace? One and only. <sighs> Daddy dearest he used to gaslight me into being his thug for hire. Those days are long gone, and so is he. I've got a higher calling now. I keep Iris safe. Call it a long chain of favors stemming back to the bad old days. And every minute I spend out here puts Iris at risk. See what she came to say so I can laugh in your face and go home for a nice bowl of cereal and some cartoons. Priorities, okay? Like, respect. Okay, now it's starting on the best foot. Loxley's leaving this in my hands. He's already pleaded our case to the best of his ability. Now it's up to me to take it the rest of the way. Keeping Iris safe is noble, and that's why we need you to help me. Victoria, proud of Team Play to win, is abusing Iris, making her commit crimes. 
Not just cheating at esports, that's almost trivial. She also made an iris erase someone's medical records to keep them from the mental health medication they needed. If we let this go on, if we don't put a step in and put an end to it, it might embolden Valkyrie to do worse, knowing she can get away with anything. Yeah, Loxley told me all about your little esports spat. It's almost adorable that you think it matters. Honestly, not thrilled Loxley's putting himself in the spotlight by being on your team. You told me I could support my friends and their dreams. Are you now saying I am to play favorites? Damn it. I'm trying to be a good leader and a good friend here, Loxley. You sure don't make it easy. But let's put our issues aside. The second part that worries me, that she's making it, making her iris hurt people. Sue ponders the implications of that for a moment. Fortunately, she comes up smiling, nodding affirming, affirmative at my reasoning. Fortunately for you, the iris collective agrees that something needs to be done. And they're cool with me helping you out. We'll dig hard into Valkyrie's past, pull out every single dirty secret she's hidden away from the public eye, package it up nice and neat, blast it wide after she's caught in the act. But the real prize for us is saving a vulnerable Iris from her influence. Excellent. We can't determine which Iris is the one Valkyrie's gaslighting and treating like crap, since they're all individually encrypted. Mm. So while we're dealing with your schoolyard bully, We'll also be trying to trace the individual Iris. Get her the help she needs after all the smoke clears. I love that. You utterly bury your rival's reputation. You keep the collective from being harmed. Everybody wins. Really? Great. Not so fast. There's a price tag for this service. Not surprised. Sue, I know we discussed this before, but are you certain that... Absolutely certain. Thing is, friend... Thanks to loose lips on Loxley here. You know way more about our operation than you're supposed to. Not all of it, but enough to be dangerous. I don't like half measures. I like things simple and clean. You want me to join you? So, if you Ow. want the ghost monsters in your corner for this, you join the ghost monsters. You become one of us. Yeah, sure. For the good of the Iris Collective, just like Loxley. Be gay, do crimes, let's go! That's been the theme of this entire game! Or my playthrough of it anyways. You'll have freedom to run your silly little gamer club any way you want. I don't care about that. But now and then, we may call on you to do a service for Iris. Cool. Listen, I love Iris. We've been through this. I personally want one. It's okay. Won't always be easy. You'll have split loyalties, just like Loxley. But at the end of the day, you'll be helping make the world safer for Iris to live in. Mm -hmm. And better for humanity as a whole. No more dipping your toe in this conspiracy when it's convenient for you. You go all the way or none of the way. Listen, I've been all in for a long time now. <laughs> I don't think you understand. The second I realized there's conspiracy, I was like, Wee! Let's go swimming! So, we got a deal. Okay, this is not what I, this is 100% what I expected. I'm cool with this. But I've been wrapped up in this conspiracy since the day I approached Loxley demanding to know the truth about Polybia. So yeah, no, I jumped in. If I didn't want to get involved, I could have let that slide, but I wanted the truth. And if I want the full truth, I'll need to go all the way. In for a pounding, in for a pounding. I'm ready to sign up. Considering a bunch of the knowledge up my noggin to be considered massively illegal, I'm guessing this is the next logical step. I must screw it, I'm in. Give me my official team jersey and teach me your secret handshake. We don't have uniforms. Well, not anymore. Man is a bit too easy to spot. The only handshake I, get, I know is giving people the fingers, so... But, good to see you're on board. Consider yourself part of the Ghost Monsters Auxiliary. Then, uh, might be nice having someone on the inside dirt on esports. Guess this means you need a code name, and we're fresh out of Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> Call me missing, no! I'm an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Oh my god. Oh, hey! How's it going? How you doing? I'm just dying over missing no as being a goddamn option here. <laughs> I am the shad. I am the knights. <laughs> ah, good. I mean, it's a good one. Oh, my life. I'm gonna stick with Rogue, I think. 
Fucking nerd code, I know, right? Tomikaze is the other one. I don't want to use that one. I fucking missing no. It makes me laugh so hard. What, missing now? <laughs> Pick it immediately. <laughs> Peer pressure. Oh my god. This is the only guy I, I shattered. Honestly. I am an enigma in a riddle. I mean, yeah, fuck it. Let's go with something mysterious and video gamey. Let's keep the theme going. I'm missing now. Ooh, classy. Sure thing, missing now. I'm waiting for Loxley to be like, what is wrong with you? And break up with me, okay? Like, this is where we're at. Okay, ghost monsters acquire missing now. You acquire all of Valkyrie's dirty laundry. We'll also help you get your anti-cheat software installed. Love you. Lurkawee! Thanks for saying hi, though. And thank you. Anything else you need while you're, while, while you're wheeling and dealing? You want a sandwich? I know, a great sandwich shop. Do you mean like an actual sandwich? Because I could I could go for food. I am a bit peckish. I'm good, thanks. Loxley ain't saying shit. He declared undying love on day one. Yeah, he dropped that L word real, real fast here. Uh, so he's got no legs to stand on. You mean Melvin. Melvin declared his undying love. I love him. Stupid boy. I really want that little teddy bear on that front pack. So cute. Anyways, we're good. And anyway, I got a bail for the CCT cameras to come back online. Loxley, you got it from here. I'll reconnect with you both in one month's time at the Pro Tour event. Ooh. Indeed. Until then. See you around, Missing No. I thought they were going to make fun of me for that choice. I'm kind of glad they didn't. They're just letting it roll. Did I just sign my soul away? Granted, better the devil you know. I was already involved in the mess thanks to Polybius. Maybe now I'll get even more answers about what happened to me. And maybe stop the nightmares, I'm just saying. I'm assuming they may have stopped since I kind of broke my own programming on it, but like, I don't know. Most importantly, we're all set for the Valkyrie takedown. One month of light training and prep work and we'll face off against her. But this time we'll be ready in more ways than one. You're going down! We do actually make fun of you if you pick the shadow. Good! Soon says I'm specifically calling you the shadow from that point onward. Uh, word with the word. In, with the word that in front of it. That's hilarious. So like the shadow. Like emphasis there. That's hilarious. I'm good with that because I would have also made fun of me. One month came and gone in a blink of an eye. We did some training on a lighter schedule, played a bunch of different games, had a few group outings to keep team morale up. Eager to make up for a romantic disaster at Pengi Paradise, Loxley's taking me out to other fancy restaurants since then, but with an eye towards not overdoing it. Was he doing identity theft? Was he doing a crime at the same time? Just curious. Loxley actually does strike me as somebody who is like a fan of good food though. Okay, the shadow. See you around the shadow. Not surprised, which would be so funny. Good food, quiet conversation, absolutely zero candles or other forms of open flame. Uh, was there any more poetry? Cause that would... <laughs> Finding time for these outings is difficult with his iris related duties pulling him away, but we do what we can with what we have. And well, here we are, the Fist of Discomfort 2 Pro Tour Finals. Jerry Lawson Memorial Esports Stadium. Smaller than traditional ball focused sports, but just as hot an atmosphere as any superb battle can manage. The atrium is packed with industry booths and indies. Yeah, clearly. It looks really dope, though. The atrium is packed with industry booths and indies, showing off gamer swag or brand new competitive titles. A fine playground for fans and players to enjoy between matches. You made it, gang? The big time, the main event, the ultimate arcade destination. And the first major pro tour, too. History in the making. It feels like every year the scene manages to grow exponentially. Ugh, could go my whole life without being locked in a building with thousands of sweaty, unshowered gamers. I mean, mood. And yet, there's something wholly invigorating about inhaling the deep musk of an excited crowd. Loxley, like... I'm gonna leave that alone. 
Ah, yes, Gamer Musk. Bottle and sell some, see where that gets you. Thank you, Jinx. That's why we're doing a playthrough for Goth Girlfriend. Oh, Michelle's got a Magical Moon Cuties 2 booth. Wasn't that the game we got at our at our arcade? No, I guess game? I feel like it is. Or like it, the, we had the original one. Okay, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on, but I don't forget the real reason we're here. To get utter, utterly wrecked by Valkyrie in front of an audience of thousands, right? Domino. Sweetie. That's not how I put it, but yes. Not gonna lie, things will get weird when it's time to hit the stage. This won't be a normal fight. And the aftermath could put a harsh spotlight on whoever, whoever's standing there. As you know, don't expect, I will be by your side for the doomed final stand. My heart, put my sword for your heart. That is the way of things. I'd be honored. Okay, I'm going to officially register our tag team with the tournament staff and then try to meet up with Sue. Everyone else, go enjoy the party. Loxley and I need to be two teams in the tournament to advance the actual finals, so we can't quite party like you can, but you're not exempt from partying, Rogue. This is a prime opportunity for fun. Take it. Zapper, I've got matches to win and shenanigans to plan. So multitask. Don't let life pass you by. That's all I'm saying. Don't get so fixated on Valkyrie that you forget who you're trying to be. Let's not see a relapse of training spreadsheet, Rogue. Right, right, I'll make an attempt. If all that's settled, the team breaks up to go investigate the wonders on offer. Zapper's right. I know I'm going to be dunking myself into a shark tank later today, but I don't want to fall back on bad habits, focusing my whole life on, on accomplishment. I glance around the room, pondering what to tackle first when I hear a beep from my phone. Well, I hear Iris saying, Beep, beep. Hey, Iris, so I know you're heading into some really stressful stuff, so I wanted to make a little recommendation to you. If you're ever in doubt what to do, remember who you are. I am Rogue. I mean in terms of your identity. You know, those intense identity situations I've been tracking? The ones where you can't take certain approaches that don't mesh with your personality? Yeah, I'm pretty bad at cracking jokes without them falling flat. Exactly! I'm guessing you're gonna run into some super intense identity situations real soon. Only one way through, using your best technique alone. That is a scary name. It's actually not that scary if you think about it. It means you have a strong, well-developed go-to solution, so use it. And for me, that'd be, according to my calculations, your best bet for how to deal with Valkyrie is to be kindly. Empathy is your thing. Maybe Valkyrie's cold heart will crack under your warmth. Honestly, it'd be nice if this ends peacefully. She realizes the error of her ways. But I don't know how realistic that is, so we'll see. But let's say that, in theory, I want to take a different approach when everything hits the fan tonight. What do I do? Well, you have all day to chat with people before you'll need to really dive into your personal playbook. There's time to learn new approaches. I know that in the end, you'll make the right decisions. And Magnificent Seven won't be completely destroyed by your own folly. Yeah, let's avoid that. Iris. Okay, stop fixating on Valkyrie. Don't let her become your new self-destructive obsession. Take in all of the entirety of the Pro Tour Finals and enjoy it all. Let's see where to first. Yes, it's been a hot minute. Cra oh, it's only my people. Oh, that's neat. Cupcake's over here. Sorry, you can't see Cupcake behind me. Quite literally the Cupcake. Ugh, there's only three. There's five options to choose from and I can only do three. Um, oh, this is difficult. This is mean, sorry. Um, okay. Ah, I hate making decisions. Why do I play dating sims? Um, Okay, the one decision that is, like, the one... Uh, BK, I'm with you. I was just about to say, the only one that I for certain know I would choose no matter what is Queen B. So we're gonna do that one, and then we're gonna save somewhere in that conversation, so maybe later I can go explore the other ones. I'm probably leaning to, so Queen B, yes. I'm leaning towards Cupcake, because I really want to see if we can fix that somewhere, and then probably my sponsor. Hamza and Ben and Matt, I've spent a fair bit of time with on other levels. Um, like I prioritize them on other levels and never really let them like let those slip. 
But sponsor relationship is still kind of new, even though it's with me. And I feel like I should at least try to do something with Cupcake. So that's, I think, the direction we're heading. But the only one I am very absolutely 100% certain on is Queen Bee. <laughs> huh. I'm sorry, like, look at those pants. They're so cute. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Perfectly fine. Problem is, I also love her, so... <laughs> Later, I'm going to boost showing off some new competitive party brawler. I spot Queen Bee. I know. Look at... Thanks, Catsy. But can you blame me? Like, Queen is looking dope AF, y'all. She is looking good. Later, I'm going to boost showing off some new competitive party brawler. I spot Queen Bee the four of the four heavenly kings, but isn't she supposed to be in the tournament? She's on the other side of the bracket, so we haven't directly clashed yet, but I was figuring it would be inevitable. Fuck, 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 fuck! Uh, QB, what up? Right of the fucking tournament, that's what's fucking up. My partner, the demon, was flying in from Japan, but his flight got cancelled at the last minute due to some fucking computer error. <gasps> it's not a computer error. It's Valkyrie being a bitch. We managed to get another flight, but it's not going to arrive for hours. So they disqualified us. We've been kicked out of the pro tour. <sighs> I'm angry for you. Can you believe this shit? Unfortunately, yes. But also, I'm so sorry for you. A computer error? Some air traffic control thing. I don't know the details, but apparently the whole airport got slapped with a cyber attack that fucked things up. That seems way too coincidental. I uh, may know who have done that. Who did that? Pound hearing that I might hold the answer. Queen Bee rushes up to me. Fire behind her eyes. She puts a firm hand on my shoulder. You what? Who's the asshole who did this to me? You're standing in the way of Victoria Proud and her in Team Plato and so? She made sure her iris hack your face wall. Wait, wait, her? You think Valkyrie did this? Stands for reason, right? You're an obstacle, a threat to her triumphant return in esports, and she did the same to us. Remember Peggy Paradise debacle? Turns out she hacked the game to ensure a flawless victory against us. But that doesn't track. You haven't been deep in the scene as long as I have, champ. I know Valkyrie. I fought against her numerous times in FOD tournaments. At Evo, we were playing, and one of my joystick buttons died on me for a few seconds, making me drop a full combo. I reported it. And they thought I was just being salty. But Valkyrie believed me. And she insisted the judges throw out her win and restart the match. What happened to her then? What, seriously? Seriously. She didn't want a tainted victory. And now she's going for them. Wait, but, but Punchy78 told me about how she went out of her way to ruin her rival's career. <laughs> that guy? Oh yeah, he was an asshole. No pity for him. Sure, she can carry a grudge a thousand miles, and after what he did, I would too. Don't think you have the whole story on that one. But cheating? Ah, uh, that's not like her. That's not Valkyrie. That, no, BK, I was about to say the exact same thing. Because my brain immediately went to what could have caused such a wild shift and into a nothing else matters mindset. Get me wrong, Valkyrie can be an incredible hard ass who shows zero mercy. But she's not as nice or approachable as I am. And admittedly, she's made some errors in her career, which has bred toxicity within the community. But stooping to cybercrime just to knock me out of the tournament? I don't know. That's just not Valkyrie. Not the Valkyrie you knew or who did exist. Maybe she likes you, but she loathes me. People change over the years. Maybe she's gotten worse. Maybe when she was younger and riding high on glory, she was an idealist, but now, well... Ah! Hi, Jamie! And yay! Thank you, Jen, for the gift subs to so many people here. <laughs> she beats all 
You do good. I appreciate it. Hello, Jamie, and welcome to... Apparently, I'm just not done with emotional roller coasters. <laughs> How's it going? Maybe when she was younger and riding high on glory, she was an idealist. But now, well, you said it yourself. She breeds bad attitudes. Hate to say it, Queen Bee, but I think your old friend's grown up to be bitter and twisted. Friend is a strong word, champ. Also, look, it's Queen Bee! <laughs> because this is always the option. Hi! Huh? Hi, Cole! Work tired, bleh. Yeah, that's a mood and a half. I'm sorry, dear. But, uh, and hi, Cole! Welcome! Okay, hold up, hold up. We need another moment for the pants. We need another moment for the outfit. Just, just gonna Vanna White this. Catsy, I will get ahead of you. I do not care. Anyways, I have done this over Sue's outfit, and I am doing it over Queen Bee's outfit. It's excellent. Anyways, we're good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Pants, 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 pants. <laughs> I have the booty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got ahead of you, technically. I'm dying over the emotes. Oh my god. Those are brilliant, and I love them. Oh my goodness. Hello, friends. Hello, darlings. Welcome to... <laughs> oh, that one's also so good. Oh my god. Anyways, I love this. It's it's so... Jamie, have you had the chance to play this yet? Because, like, I... God damn, I love this game. Ren is a strong word champ. It's more of a sisters in arms situations, but if she started pulling dirty tricks, I want to know. Something about this whole thing still feels off to me, but I'm willing to believe you as she once believed in me. Do what you gotta do to expose the truth. Oh, I plan to. I'll do what I can for the health of the entire arcade scene. You've got my word. Cole, how are you doing? How are things? Queen Bee pauses for a moment in contemplation. Constantly changing, you know. We pioneers laid the path, but we laid it to allow newer players to come into the FOD scene. Ah, you're still. I see. I see. Fair, fair. Don't blame you in the slightest. It's hard for the ones who have been here since the beginning to fade away into the background. Old instincts to cling to the fame and thrill we love are strong. So I get it. I get what Valkyrie might be feeling. But this isn't the way. Um, I, I, I'm feeling like I clearly must hate myself because I'm like, you know what would be really fun? More emotional roller coasters. For the record, surprising absolutely nobody. We're in the last half of this game, which means it's emotional roller coaster constantly. Um, and apparently I love doing that to myself and feeling all the things. Otherwise, I'm good. Work is... Making me a whole sense of ways, but I am on vacation in nine days. Vacation in nine days, and I will be all of the happier once I don't have to work for a week. So more than that, but I'm just I'm not even doing much for my vacation. I just I just need to breathe. That's all. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited my life <laughs> I haven't taken a proper one yet this year um I'm going glamping with H dog who is normally in here but is working right now um for a couple of the days we might also do a trip to Buffalo we're debating it um just because well she's also got that week off too um and we have <laughs> we're lame Canadians are lame we've missed Target during the pandemic it's really silly but we have so we might go do that otherwise honestly some streaming some video games and uh sleeping as much as my body will allow me just got home from work need a bit of do it a bit of choring and some other yeah, yeah that's fair that's fair but yeah so vacation will be good i am i'm i've got a yeah that's a lot of it actually that's mostly what it's gonna be so it, it's like keeping it pretty chill, but it, it'll be nice for that reason. Like little fun things. So, yeah, only good times. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I have been 
very much wanting to do a nice long road trip, so. <laughs> and I am a fan of both hiking and shopping. So I get it. I get what, I also, but I don't know if you want to put up with me for like extended concentrated periods of time. Ashdog has been trained over about a dozen years now. <laughs> But perhaps one day I'll take you up on your offer. It'll be fun. So I get it. I get what, what Valkyrie might be feeling, but this isn't the way. should be able to leave the scene while inspiring others. Not end it all going down in a f***ing mess of flames. Oh, you do, do you? Oh, that'd be dope. I've n heard lots of it. I have never been. I have never been to Minnesota. Like, that's one of... I haven't been... I've been to a handful of states. I'm not very good with the geography of your country. Let me start off there. I had that conversation earlier. If Astral's around, he was on that call. Um, where I'm not very good at the geography. That isn't my country. Uh, I am... I am an entertaining time. <laughs> I don't get lost. I'm actually very good at keeping directions, but only if I have to. Don't give me that, BK. <laughs> like, people who are who live here aren't good with it. Oh my goodness. It's like the ghost of capitalism. It is. Okay, Canada is also a big country, but we actually complicated it a lot less. We only have 10 provinces and then three territories. That's it. Nice and simple. To be fair, not a lot of people in America know geography in general. Fair point. Fair point. But if somebody literally gave me a map and told me to guess which state is which, it would be funny. I have some guesses based off of, like, I know enough on time zones. Um, because I work with a few international clients and therefore I have a lot of them that are in different parts of, a lot of North America really, but a lot of them are based in the US. And so I do have some understanding based on what I know their time zone to be. So I can kind of figure out some pieces. But then I'm gonna mess up a lot. <laughs> uh, I think I tried to like test myself a while back, just out of curiosity, and I think I got I screwed up so bad that eventually that I was like, nope, never mind. But I have driven through quite a bit of it. Uh, had you? Yeah. Well, you're in the UK, Alex. <laughs> like, you've got a, you're on you're over an ocean or two. Not that good geography. How many oceans? I don't know. You're you're over by quite a bit. I at least share some land with this country. <laughs> That's how I think of it. Oh my goodness. Although I would not know Europe very well either now that I think of it. Ah, oh, geography. I was not good at that in high school. I just... I got Canada down. You want me to name the provinces and their capital cities? I can do that. That's as good as I get. Actually, but it helps that I've been to a lot of them by this point. I think I've got, I haven't been to any of the territories, but there's only two provinces I haven't been to. So. Geoguessers stream, oh my God, can you, can, okay, let's actually, Alex. Maybe you and I should do this. I think it'd be hilarious. Alex and Burke are trying to, where in the world? And let's figure it out. I think it'd be hilarious. Anyways, we should be able to leave the scene while inspiring others and not end it all going down in a fucking mess of flames. Chan, make sure you don't let it end like that. I promise. Queen Bee huffs and stir storms away. Clearly still frustrated by everything, I let it go. Yeah, Canada's really big, we just don't have people. <laughs> we have a lot of open land. It's wonderful. That's why H-Dog and I are gonna go glamping. We're just gonna go get lost in the woods. Okay, lurk away. Thanks, Jamie. Much love. Uh, no worries. Just a big ass from one of those popular FOD players. I push the feelings away. I can't dwell on this now. Other things I should be doing. Need more cities and bureaucracy. Um, uh, yeah, Canada just has, like, a lot of open land. It's actually great. It's also scary. I said this to... Again, Ast I don't, Astral's lurking if he is on. Rocks, it's a lot of giant rocks. Yeah, you see a lot more of it, I think, than I do sometimes. Um, I had this conversation with Astral before where I was like, you can drive like nine hours in a direction and still not hit the edge of the province. 
Canada, die of exposure and or wolves. Oh yeah. Not wrong. But occasionally see a moose. My dad was apparently in Newfoundland the other week and he's like, look, I saw a moose. And I'm like, I am your daughter. My God, am I ever related to you? My, my Papa Wallace is a treasure, okay? Um, <laughs> 10 hours and still in Ontario, yep. Moose are huge. They are big. Yeah, dad and my, my stepmom got very excited to see one. It was the funniest conversation. Oh, yeah. Attention, please. Magnificent Seven to stage B for your first match. My condolences. You don't, yeah. Two Flower, let me tell you. We, we are unfortunately still in Ontario and it's not good lately. Moose are nightmare fuel. <laughs> Remember that time, Alex? I kept sending you and Jay just a lot of facts about moose. <laughs> that was fun. Reminds me of Texas. Oh, yeah. Everything I've read about Ontario suggests it's the Florida panhandle of Canada. No, see, I would put that as Alberta still, personally. I just think I regret it a lot. <laughs> Same. Um, I, I tend to liken Alberta to Florida. Although it's hard to say whether or not we're Texas. That one's a, that's a, actually no, Quebec is Texas. Alberta's Florida, Quebec is Texas because they also want to consistently try to leave us. Um, and apparently that's a thing again. I only know because I watched Philip DeFranco occasionally, so I get a little bit of news. Um, Ontario just thinks it's the entire country when it's really not. But it also thinks it's an entire country that is run by a mini Trump. Like that, that is the, my best equivalent. Like if you go to different parts of Ontario, it is vastly different. Toronto's California in a lot of ways. Um, but if you go to other parts, it's yeah, it's pretty much it. Toronto really is actually California in a lot of ways. Now that I think of it. We also pretend to be the U.S. so often in Toronto, and by that I mean when they do filming. So, <laughs> it's our favorite game, can you spot the CN Tower? Right. Still need to beat two other teams before we reach Valkyrie, and we don't- well, this was for nothing. I text Loxley to, man to arrange the meetup prior to the match, and our first opponent is a complete pushover. I honestly feel kind of bad. There's was a- Do we get stories of Alberta Man? Uh, occasionally. You've had all major states and just Ontario alone. Thank you. Thank you, Katsy, for confirming this. Um, this is another mostly amateur team that got some lucky wins and qualified for the finals, and we ran a clinic on them. We end a chat, exchange some tips. I offer some I offer encouragement. No sense in demoralizing the newbies. Good. And back to exploring the Pro Tour Carnival. So, who do I talk to next? I'm going to go to my rival, and then we're gonna deeply consider the last one. Mostly because I think talking to myself is weird. I'm not gonna lie. Cupcake can't avoid me forever. Also, I just still like the fact that I called my rival Cupcake. I know for a fact they are here. Also, yeah. Vi Oland. I picked a weird name with this one, y'all. The Pro Tour is huge, sure, but amidst all the surrounding booths, Team PTW has their own private chunk of it. They're occupying the C9 eSports gear shop across the atrium. When you're the stars of the whole tournament, you need to have a home base to sell your swag, sign autographs, and just relax from the chaos that is a national tournament. I, pass it, I passed it on my way in earlier. Yeah. Pizza yums. You can, have, you can have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime! I still, maybe... Y'all, back to another, it's another day, another stream, and another craving for pizza. And garlic bread. Katsy, we should go get garlic bread sometime soon. Just garlic bread. Is that just like pineapple, like a whole pineapple on a pizza as an emote, Alex? Pizza, pizza, pizza. I love pizza. God damn it. Anyways, I don't, I just... Oh, garlic bread, garlic bread. I know. <laughs> oh, I love. 
I love that. See, here's the thing, and y'all can hate me as much as you want. Uh, I am a pineapple on pizza stan. I, um, why do I say stan? How am I, I am not young. Um, I am old, and yet I try to talk like the young ones. Um, down anytime beauty. We will figure out a time because I need to just like scream about work sometimes. So <laughs> I'm sure you do too. So we'll go somewhere and scream and eat. Um, oh, I love dumplings too. God, BK, why? Why do you do this to me? I have salad in the fridge. That's what I have. I'm being healthy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now I, that's why I want pizza. But anyways, no, I love pineapple and pizza. I like pineapple and pizza, but I'll make a face the whole time. I just love pineapple. I don't care if it eventually like starts to hurt my mouth. I will just, I love it. Always. Anyways, pizza on a bagel. Still mildly mad at Pizza Yums for abandoning me. Because I enjoy torturing people with food. Sir. Respectfully. Hate you. Don't actually. The idea. I'm so easily tempted with food too. I just, I love food. <laughs> Cartoon had a nearby food stall. I had uh, the shop looking for cupcake through its glass doors. But I don't see them in there. In fact, I don't see any of the familiar play to win faces. It's rather unoccupied right now. Half of me feels a wave of relief while the other struggles with the anxiety of finally to come with the anxiety to finally confront cupcake. As my inner monologue wars against itself, there's a buzzing in my pockets. Pull out my phone and read the fresh new message. Rug, what are you doing? You look silly hiding back there. If you want to see me that badly, meet me in the back of the gear shop in ten minutes. But make sure no one sees you. Winky face. Why are you giving me a winky face? What's that about? Why do you have to leave it on the winky face emoji? Thank you! Now I'm just managing dumplings and melted cheese over them. I don't know if I'd like that. Mostly because it goes to different, like, textural things. Also, okay. Hear me out. Iron Chef, Iron Chef America. Uh, there's the new series on Netflix. Have I been watching it? A lot. Yes. Does it make me very hungry? Yes. It also inspires me to have fun with cooking again, though. So, like, I have needed this in my life. Um, but holy crap, is it good. I love Alton Brown. I've had a crush on Kristen Kish for years. So, anyways, I digress. But if you need good food watching, Iron Chef on Netflix. It is. It's so... It's fun. It's just really cool things being done with food. Oh, my God. I'm Like, I feel like I'm learning so much about different types again. And it's... It's fun. It's just enjoyable. Again, one day we're going to do a cooking stream. And we might just make cream puffs because I love profiteroles so much. I'll just eat all of them also <laughs> in the entire stream. <laughs> Even though things have been strained between us, I want to see them. But I need to find out what's going on, but I'm still hesitant. What if I'm not able to resolve it? Should I jump back into the strained friendship or should I walk away? No, let's figure it out. Communication is key. Meet with them. I've come this far and I'm not leaving without talking to Cupcake. Friendship is magic. Let's go. Ugh, the longest 10 minutes of my life, I swear. I tried to do anything else but think about what Cupcake was gonna, and I, about Cupcake and what I was gonna say. But time's up. I take a deep breath and take a nice wide breath around the other booths. Inside the shop, it's fairly calm and quiet and feels like another lifetime before I see the doors to the back room of the shop open and Cupcake's head peek through. They wave me over and I quickly dart in. I love that hair color. Sorry, I'm good. Once inside, I take note of a little makeshift room. There's a table with an expensive looking charcuterie board. A charcuterie board. Sorry. I spend too much time on TikTok. I like, I watch a lot of TikTok lately. I've not had the time to make new TikToks. Um, I haven't had the capacity rather. Um, but I love calling it stupid things now. It's my favorite. Um, and all the fanciest gamer drinks. Nice furniture, too. P2W spares no expenses for its members. Make yourself comfy. Take whatever you need. What's mine is yours. P2W won't miss a few snacks. Thank you. It's really nice having this place to relax in. Some quiet time before the big tournament is exactly what I needed. How are you doing? It's great to actually see you. What is going on here? I'm sorry. You told me never to talk to you again. Where is this coming from? They're treating like this meeting like nothing's happened at all. Like everything's hunky-dory. Thank you. You know I am here, don't you? To see your favorite person, right? We need to talk about a whole lot of things. 
first things first. It very much feels like a trap. Which is why I'm not going to talk about Valkyrie in this one. What's with the hot and cold attitude for me all the time? We're best buds one minute, the next minute you're giving me the cold shoulder. You're supposed to be my friends. You're supposed to be my friend. Friends don't do this to each other. It hurts. Given how you've treated me, I'm hesitant to tell you about this, but look. You know everything about what's really going on. We figured it all out. Maybe this is a bad plan. This might have been a bad plan. We know about Valkyrie cheating, about her, about her and Coda and her Iris. I know she's manipulating you. She's cheating to get you into the finals and she's not going to stop today. But I can help if you let me. She's not cheating. Cupcake's eyes shift away from mine. Yes, she is. You don't have to cover for her, Cupcake. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. Got a plan to get the proof we need and then it's all over for her. And if you get nailed as her accomplice, if you, you can get nailed as her accomplice if you keep backing her on this. Can't you just see I'm trying to help you out? Awkward silence fills the room. Don't have to protect her. Not trying to protect Valkyrie. I'm trying to protect you. Cupcake lets out a sigh, completely crestfallen. I can't help but respond with a sigh of my own. What do you mean? I just hope my next words actually reach them. I know your heart burns with the same passion as mine. We both feel the heat of the challenge and the joy of a well-earned win. You know that cheating doesn't make that victory real. You'll feel the inescapable guilt if you go through with this. You have to trust me on this. Cupcake's refusal to meet my eyes tells me everything. I know you feel the same way I do about this. I just want the truth. The truth is that I've hurt you so much already. I'm sorry, Rogue. I don't want to keep hurting you, which is why Cupcake turns away from me. You'll understand everything after the tournament. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? Why can't you just explain it to me now? Cupcake quickly stands up from the couch. I just can't. And you can't be here anymore, she'll know. Run out of time. Please leave. Their words taste bitterly in my mouth as I frown at them. They stand there, staring coldly at me. Are you also working with the ghost monsters? You can tell me I'm one of them now. <laughs> you may know me as Missing No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. I'm still, a I'm still a fan of that. A few minutes of uncomfortable quiet before I realize it's going nowhere. Frustrated, I get up from the couch and leave them in their own mess. Attention, please. Magnificent 7 to stage A for your second match. Do the secret handshake. <laughs> the handshake is flipping the bird. That's just it. Okay, the first round was a bit of a pushover, but don't get cocky. The next team could halt our road to fighting P Team P2W if we aren't careful. They put up a hard fight, a team of pros who have been around in the touring circuit longer than we have, but we squeak out the win. You win! Winner! Gagne! Sorry. Clearly Canadian, okay? Seems that last month of light training was enough to keep us sharp because we overcome them in the end. The handshake is ghosting them and leaving them on red. <laughs> the handshake is the real friends we made along the way, okay? Handshakes and good feelings all around, though. Not all veterans are salty. Spotlighting hog ho spotlight hogging types like Valkyrie. With that fight complete, we're locked in for the finals against Team Play to win. It's done. But I think we have time for one more run exploring the Pro Tour offerings before I need to start looking for Sue. Who do I visit next? Okay, this is a difficult decision. I love them. My sponsor is here, but my sponsor is me, which feels very weird sometimes. And Hamza, I love so very much. I know I was going to talk to my sponsor. Do I really need to talk to my sponsor? My sponsor's my cousin. They're not going to abandon me. I want to. I want to go. Love them. Anybody have any particular feelings towards any of these three? Kind of on Hamza. I know. Oh, they do. That might have just swayed me. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's go. I love Hamza, okay? 
Over in the dealer area, I spot none other than Hamza. Enigmatic. Me and words sometimes. My life. Enigmatic, charismatic patron of the arcade arts. I sure do miss my cousin. I hope they'll talk to me or I'll ditch their sponsorship. Welp, too late, YOLO! <laughs> I love having... I mean, I take I take opinions. And he's running a dealer's booth, but look at this beautiful man. How could I not? Yeah, if my, if my sponsor wants to hold it against me, I mean, we can chat later. The help of Viva's assistance, it's weird to see someone like him working retail. But... No, wait. It's not a retail op operation. The banner of the booth reads, All that you desire for free. Ah, my good friend. I love you. Welcome, welcome. I Hamza love you, sir. Is pleased to see you again. Can Hamza interest you in rare and valued arcade treasures obtained during his worldwide travels? Many a rare gem can be found within the stuff I have brought to this event. Okay, but hear me out. Is Naomi over here? <laughs> Because I feel like she probably is hiding somewhere to get something. Anyways. True enough, I'm seeing some collector pieces. Limited edition game or paraphernalia. I love that they talk about themselves in the third person. I same. I love his entire cadence, his entire being. I love him. True enough, I'm seeing some collector pieces, limited edition game or paraphernalia, and even some arcade circuit boards from extremely rare machines. And what, you're just giving this stuff away? Some may embrace an opulent and lavish style for presentation purposes. But ultimately, he prefers to live modestly. Clutter and waste are an enemy to be slain. So, when Hamza's storage warehouse is overfilled with treasure, it is time to redistribute some arcade delights to the masses. Hamza is no dragon sitting on a golden horn. Love. Perhaps Hamza could interest you in a collector's edition statue of Tomokaze in a rare Shadow Arts costume. All things are possible. Through Hamza. I love you. One item per customer only. All transactions are final. All employees of the palace or other major arcade chains are exempt from this offer. Do not test the patience of Hamza. No, oh, I love the fine print! The fine print is perfect. Huh, okay. Nothing in this pile of gamer swag that I really need, but maybe I could get a gift for someone on the team. They deserve it after putting up a spreadsheet, Rogue. For the record, for those of you who missed yesterday, I became an absolute menace with a spreadsheet. Um... Is that just a sword? Do not test the patience of Hamza. I mean, fair. You're giving away a sword. A rare Galaga Starship model kit. Cute. Complete in box Ultimate 7. Exclusive Pro Tour Finals pin. Brutal, La Brutal Legend Statue of an Early Hailspawn. Solid Gold NES Zapper. Is that, is that just a sword? Okay, uh, who do I feel like currying some favor with? Um, I'm leaning towards Grace or Zapper because I don't think I gave them as much love or rap, actually. Zap might have been fine. We might need it. Yeah, but that's for Loxley. That's the thing. I, I'm trying to, like, curry favor so maybe I get good endings for all at the end of this. Um, I don't remember where my standings are with everybody, though. I got a lot of it at the halfway. Some of these are just so funny. Okay, I'm actually going to do the solid gold NES Zapper because I appreciate Zapper for basically... Yeah, it's icons for the companions. It's really cute. Um, I'm going to get... I'm not giving Loxley a sword is really what I shouldn't do. The man started arson accidentally. Like, I don't need another accident to happen. I could get injured. Um, I'm thinking I might do this for a zap, so that way, I don't know, puts her in better standing with me. I can't imagine lifting that thing would be very fun while playing Duck Hunt, but you can't deny the flex of a solid gold light gun. Genuine gold as well, although Hamza trusts you wouldn't simply pawn it off his metallurgic, metallurgic value. But what about second arson? <laughs> just, a, just a little arson, as a treat. Hell no, Zapper's gonna put that thing over her bed like a prize trophy, I'm betting. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. One of Hamza's many helper boxes gift up, get, bo boxes up the gift for me. I should probably carry this up to the hotel room rather than lug it around, though. May your ally find happiness in this treasure. Hamza is pleased to spread joy to all deserving personas. Persons. Hey, hang on a second. 
If this is a gift, that, that means I haven't asked for something yet. I got another pick. Test not the patience of Hansa, my friend, but you are technically correct, which is sufficient. Speak your desire. It's a lot of goodies on offer, but there's only one thing I'm genuinely cur curious about. What? I dare ask this? I don't know if I'm allowed to know this. I would like the true name of Hamza. That is not on offer. It's behind the desk, isn't it? Everything behind the desk is on offer. Come on, I gotta know. Who's the real Hamza? Hmm. It's a very bold move! What? I have so much audacity in my pockets today? What is up with this? Hmm. Anyone else I would cast you out into the cold to walk alone through his esports wilderness, but for you, Hamza loves me. It's Hamza. That's literally my name. Trad, I thought I was being clever too. Ah, Hamza would not wish you to walk away unsatisfied. He shall, I shall, offer no. We went in first person, y'all. What you see. Lavish clothing, the air of refined grace and power. This is, of course, an image, a mystique that I cultivate to enact my will on this world. Okay, but it's a gorgeous, beautiful, immaculate, just like, just mm, not out there. I, you, you do a great job. I don't consider it to be a facade, though. No, no. Image is a matter of presenting the self you wish to be. Then, following through on your wish, I wish to be the one who embraces the arcade and supports it through my wealth and privilege. The carefully designed aura of Hamza, the eccentric stranger, allows me to do this. Hamza is generosity with confidence. Hamza is justice with a will of iron. Hamza is striking and breathtaking, but the figure of compassion. You're not wrong. Therefore, Hamza is oh. my true name. I choose to be Hamza because Hamza is what I wish to see in this world. I love this boy. For a second, I thought he was going to offer a smooch. I, I wish you could still woo him, I know, right? Friend, I know that you will face your nemesis on this day. In the aftermath, come what may, ask yourself one question. Is it what my true name is? Because I'm starting to think Rogue was an excellent choice for this for my player handle. What do you want this world to be? And what must you become to make it so? Are you vengeance or justice? Are you conqueror or challenger? I'm really glad we went with Hamza. And I know you will see yourself through the trials to come. Huh. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll think it over. If you will excuse us, Hamza has many more gifts to bestow upon this wonderful world of our kids. Hamza is Hamza. He is father, brother in arms, and friend. He is everything. He is, he is, he is Hamza. Oh, I love him. Which is a Hamza manner of saying, the line behind you is getting long, please go, I want to wrap this up with a lunch. <laughs> Fair. Fair point. Right, right. Thanks, Hamza. Who do I, who I want to be? Well, I already know who I want to be. I want to be the one that brings Valkyrie to justice, right? Hang on, we're nearing the finals and I still haven't heard from Sue. If we're gonna get Grace's anti-cheat software installed, if we're gonna trap Valkyrie when she goes after us, we gotta get that done soon. Fortunately, just as I'm pondering that, I get a text message. <laughs> I'm still, we're good. Fine. Still laughing that I got to choose missing no. Missing no meeting arranged. Backstage green room area. Two minute from now. Hurry. And the text deletes itself off my phone. Guess that answers that. Packing my phone, I flash my backstage past the security guards and make my way through the catacombs behind the scenes of the pro tour. Backstage is a hustle of frantic activity as the tournament crew rush to prepare the stage for the final showdown happening in a little under an hour. Thankfully, nobody's paying attention to me, which means I can carry on some cloak and daggery type meeting. But it also means people constantly bumping to me, bumping to me as I look for my ally. Cutting it kind of close here with the timing, but at least we've still got a chance, especially with Sue in my corner. 
Listen, for those of you who didn't get to see Sue, this, so this is a future cosplay for me at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna just like, sorry, I'm good. Um, did I just open up the uh, Redbubble store? Yes, I did. Okay, we're fine. Just remind myself later. We're good. Hey, Sue. Hey, thanks for coming out to help. We're all ready to go. Software installed? Yeah, running into a few problems there. You! What are you doing here? I didn't like you before at max. Oh good, now there's two of them. They're multiplying. If you're to complain about how OP Akari is, save your breath. She's perfectly balanced in the wider scope of the whole roster. I'm not here to whine about your fighty time game. Then what? Are you my personal assistants for the day? I need tea. Chamomile tea. Just plain ass chamomile tea. None of those fancy herbal blends. Oh great, it's him again. I still remember the bitterness from his Q&A panel at Max. Jason Takeshi. Lead developer of the entire Fist of Discomfort series since its inception. I'm not gonna lie, I love the Ace badge. I noticed it for earlier too and I was like, oh. Hopefully he doesn't recognize me from sitting in the audience at his disastrous PR event. I was hoping we'd work with some lower level peon in the mighty apparatus that keeps esports going, someone more easily convinced, but it seems that Sue took me all the way to the top of the food shade to plead my case. Yeah, I love it. I, I saw... No, it's the community he hates. He doesn't like the community. He thinks that they destroyed the game. Um, I do. I I appreciate. I love the Ace representation. This is good. Is cute. Um, it seems that Sue took me all the way to the top of the food chain to plead my case. Great, just great. So I wanted to let you know that Valkyrie's cheating. Vicky doesn't cheat. Vicky. I, oh, I see. You, you are on Vicky terms with her. Believe it or not, I've known Vicky since she was a little brat running around my favorite arcade. It's one of the reasons I can still call her that instead of silly Valkyrie gamer tag. And she's annoying, okay, but she's not a cheater. That's not the Vicky I knew. I hate to say it, but that little brat grew up to be an even larger brat. She's cheating and we have proof. She's using a software app on her phone to hack into FOT2 games remotely, modifying the code to make her easily win her matches. There's also the not-so-small matter of cyberbullying, harassment, possibly attempted murder, and you're kidding me. Seriously, this is seriously what you're wasting my time with while I'm running around trying to keep this whole event from collapsing on itself? Nobody can hack FOD2. I wrote it security systems myself. The USB ports and the Wi-Fi are locked against unauthorized access. She found a way. She's got a way of doing it. Trust me. Trust the newbie on the scene who lost their spotlight recently and would do anything to get it back? I think you can see why I'd be doubtful. Vicky's hardly a friend, but she's no stranger to me. You, on the other hand, are a stranger. I'm not going to buy into this just on your say-so. Unless you have some solid reasoning why, why sh I should take this seriously. Just just going to do a small savorino. Make sure I don't say something I regret. How the hell can I sell this without being able to give him all the facts? Bad influence in the community you've created. I can prove that he doesn't like the community. He's not gonna trust that. <sighs> Team Plato and encourages bad behavior in the community. You know this. You're there at the heart of the unpleasant incidents, only one of which involved us. At, be at the beating heart of that toxicity lies Valkyrie, and she's using every dirty trick in the book to make sure her bad attitude continues to infect esports. If you give me a chance, I can prove that, that she's gone too far, and it's finally time to come clean up the scene. I'll admit, I never liked little Vicky Proud. I don't like what she's become either. But I'm a damn software engineer, not a community manager. I've got my hands full keeping the game going, much less playing Tone Police. I hire people to do that for me. Except she's creeping on their territory and yours by hacking your code. Corrupting and criminal. I'll admit, I'd be more than happy to not have Team Plato and stinking up the joint. But if my wishes were horses, I'd open up a glue factory. Oh, for crying out loud. We don't have time for this shit. Jason, you use an iris, yeah? Considering she's an illegal app, I'm not going to confirm or deny that. Well, you let my companion here install this anti-cheat software. I'll be going for irises everywhere, indirectly. And I can see to it that you reap the benefits. 
Want your own time in the Iris Cloud Boosted? Really make her a high performance app for your high performance coder lifestyle? Maybe it can be arranged if you play ball. Curious how you could possibly arrange something like that? Who are you anyway? I'm the one telling you how this goes down. You're with ghost monsters, aren't you? What? I know more than you think I do. And I know more about Iris than you do, for that matter. I... Wait... I... Am sorry, what? Come again? I knew her when she was a flesh and blood human, for starters. Excuse? Excuse. Summer of 1990, long before Fist of Discomfort, I was her friend before you were, before someone copied her metadata to make her an app. Make an app. All we had was one summer together. One big arcade project we worked on, one more quarter to drop in the funplex. Funplex. Coin slot, but that's another story entirely. I'm kind of up to hear a bedtime story, actually. Go read a book. And just because you're working with the Iris Collective doesn't mean I need to throw a monkey wrench into my game on your behalf. And that's the prequel novel you're writing. Good, please! Grabby hands now. What? Ask your Iris if she should, if you should help us. She'll give you the thumbs up, I'm sure, but what do you say? Ugh, I don't need these complications right now. Cheaters, seriously? You know what? Fine, whatever. Go for it. Why not? Just completely abandon the idea of playing games for fun. No, they have to be a lifestyle. The kind you cheat, lie, and steal to get ahead in. Uh, you know why I made the original Fist of Discomfort? Back when I was a teenager, my friends and I made an amazing arcade game, but while they went on to better things, I got stuck grinding a business software day job. That boredom drove me to pull my FOD prototype out of mothballs to try to realize my dreams like they had. I was tired of coding spreadsheet software, an arcade game that requires you to think sounded fun. But it was always ever meant to be something fun. Oh my god, yeah, seriously. I never wanted it to be the ridiculous monster that it's become, but no, because it turned out to be a profit fountain, I'll be cranking out sequels until the heat death of the universe. And now, I've got pe- I, Yeah, don't worry, I do- Although I think- I think I found you the other day, so I'm gonna follow, give you a follow too. But I- Yes. And now we've got people hacking my game just to get ahead, so they can get their hands on a shiny gold trophy. It's not even real gold, it's gaudy costume jewelry crap. So can we get ahead with the anti cheat software or the company's leaning on me to make the game bigger every season then sponsors lean on me to change it this way and that and now teams are asking me to install weird software sure fine whatever it's not even it's not it's not like it's even the first change I've had to make to the game today alone I'm sorry what change would you do have to make okay so we can go ahead thanks for you wait we're not the only ones to ask for a change just got an email from our sponsors demanding we force the players to use their branded joysticks for the final round. And I use a keyboard! I thought the whole point of the USB ports was to let players use whatever they're comfortable with, but who, who cares about consistency? Sure, let's disable the USB ports and force our players to use the built-in sticks. Let's make that decision on the literal day of the finals, why not? Whoa, 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 whoa. We have to use the default joysticks. I can't use my usual keyboard. Not good for the brand, they said. Gotta consider the wishes of the sponsor, they said. Fine, no USB for anyone. We're putting in weird anti-cheat software in it. Fine, I'm just a freaking lead design. You need a vacation. A nice, long vacation where nobody can bother you. Feel like... This is a lot for you. At least this isn't Screw Over Loxley, who already knows how to play on default sticks, but me, I'm boned. I only know how to play on a keyboard. Wouldn't surprise me in the least if the sponsor request he's ranting about was spoofed by Valkyrie just to mess with me. J he's at, like, the high... Yeah, over it's over 9,000. It's over 9,000, this poor boy. But I'm not going into this match expecting to win. The plan is to lose catcher cheating. That plan doesn't change. Fine, fine, as long as we can install the software. I'm gonna review your code, obviously, make sure it's not like anti-anti-cheat software, but if it's legit and Vicky is cheating. 
Well, there'll be consequences, assuming anyone listens to me, which they usually do not, as I've pointed out repeatedly. I just, like... just want to wrap you up in a blanket and put you down with, like, your favorite drink and your favorite snackies and a nice quiet room where nobody can bother you. Because I'm starting to feel for you on a lot of levels. I didn't like you at max, but realistically you should. I feel like you were forced to be there and we probably shouldn't have forced you out. And now I'm seeing why, because when you get forced out, this is probably what happens. Right, right. Thanks for your time. You'll say the truth once the match is underway. Whatever. I guess we won? But wait, Iris was human once? What the heck was that about? There's a lot we don't know about Iris and a lot she doesn't know about herself. Maybe he was blowing smoke up her asses. Maybe he wasn't. Okay, let's refocus. We get the anti-cheat installed. Trip up Valkyrie. She gets an egg on her face in public. And you release all those nasty little secrets you dug up about her, right? All the terrible things she's done? Okay, so, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but she doesn't have any seriously nasty little secrets. What? It's not from a lack of trying. He can pull skeletons out of any closet, provided, of course, that the skeletons actually exist. <sighs> Valkyrie doesn't have any. She's never even jaywalked. Clean living and no secret sins to speak of. What about the cheating? What about Coda? All I know is someone did some hacking. Not that it was her. And while she certainly pulled some scummy moves, like stealing your sponsor, she's never broken the law. Don't get me wrong, Valkyrie is a narcissistic sociopath. And we certainly dug up a lot of ugly words that have come out of her mouth more than enough to pillory her. A cheater, a killer, it doesn't mesh. I hate to say it, but she might not be the villain you think she is. And what is it? That can't be right. We know what she did to us. We know what she did. We only think there could have been some. Which is why Cupcake knows something. Chill, okay? We've still got the trap. So step into it, and then we'll have something we can work with. Right. We're all set. Everything's fine. That goes down in two hours, yeah? We'll hang. I'll hang around in the background until then. Keep cool. We'll get this done missing now. Pudgy78 said she was petty and vindictive. And we, and we know we only lost because of the cheating. So one plus one makes two right. Not necessarily here. There's something we're not seeing. Punchy said she was petty and vindictive. Is that because Punchy is the long rival that a while ago she destroyed? No, because now they make friends half the time. So maybe not. Queen Bee said she was petty and awful, but not a cheater. This doesn't add up in her view. We're fine. Everything's fine. Like Sue said, we'll get to the bottom of this one way or another. Okay, two hours until things get weird. Till then, we're just an ordinary esports team and not a shadowy conspiracy trying to attack and dethrone God. What do ordinary esports teams do in the run-up to a major match? Well, either relax or talk strategy. Hang out together, basically. Wow, it's crowded back here, but hey, time to get the band back together one last time. It's not like we're disbanding after this. No, but we also don't know what's going to happen after everything hits the fan, so hey, let's share some friend time before that happens. Indeed, even if only two of our number will be on the stage, we are seven strong and roll seven deep. Let it be known. Pretty sure folks know about that by this point, Loxley. I feel like we should be distributing mugs of mead before marching off to war or something. I have these crimin 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 I have these crimson tiger cans I swipe from the booth if it helps. Why do you have the energy drink? I feel like that probably doesn't mix well with your meds, love. Hard pass, Domino, but spending time together before battle, that's more my style. It'd be nice to have a quiet moment with my friends before everything goes sideways. Plus, Iris mentioned I could switch up my strategy if I practice some other approaches. This would be a great opportunity to do that. Not a whole lot of time left, though. Maybe time enough for three, of course. Let's see. Okay, I gave Zapper a game. I'm Grace Rhapsody. Mm, I'm trying to, like, bump up. Grace is wide-eyed with wonder, watching the backstage mechanisms of the world's most important esports event. She barely notices my approach. That's wonderful. So many people working together to make this all possible. Isn't it amazing? 
really is a testament to what we can do when we cooperate to bring something beautiful into this world. It's an esports tournament. There's literally hundreds of these all over the planet every year, big and small. I know, and that's beautiful too. Not everybody creating one of these events is doing so out of a communal sense of solidarity with the arcade community, and the participants often only care about personal glory, but this wouldn't be happening at all if not for the love of arcades and video games as a whole. There's good and bad, but I choose to focus on the good. I'm so happy we could be here now. In this moment, I know it's not everything you hoped for when you first joined us, but... It's not how I imagined it being, no, but I'm past feeling like winning is the only thing that matters. What we do here today is going to be important in the long run, not just for the M7, but for everyone. Exactly. And I wanted to thank you for that. You, personally. Not just for letting me be a part of this. I didn't let you do anything. You are a part of this. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely a part of this because I chose to be. But you presented me with that choice. Before Magnificent 7, I was content to aimlessly tinker and play, unsure what my future would be. I'll admit, I was avoiding the outside world I'd grown up inside a bubble, and even after breaking out, I'd simply found a new bubble to enjoy. Now I know my future. I'm not turning away from the world, I'm breaking out of all my bubbles and looking ahead. Thank you so much. So thank you. Thanks for helping me find my ambition. <laughs> These are some good ones. Uh, it, I'm still gonna stick with kindly. I they tend to be my favorite responses, although although the bold ones too. If there's anyone to thank, it's your daughter Iris. She's the one who brought me to you and all my other friends. You've made something wonderful, Grace. So in a way, this is still all you're doing. Even my own example to light your way was thanks to Iris. Mom is the best. Go, mom. I love you, mom. Oh heck, it's really nice of you to say. You now I've been wanting to get involved in Iris's life again. Maybe it's time. And now that Loxley is uh, officially outed, I can do just that, provided it's safe to do so. Thanks to our new ally, Iris' future is a bit more secure. Could be the right time. Exactly. Uh, I'll admit I'm glad I'm not up there on the stage with you today, though. This could get a little weird. And even if I'm daring to stand my, on my own two feet, it's a little bit antsy about my family, family noticing the weirdness I'm involved in. Don't worry, Grace, I've got this. You'll be out of the spotlight. Okay, but you be careful. I don't want you getting hurt. Good luck, friend. Mm. While everyone else is in awe and mesmerized by the inner workings of the Pro Tour, Rhapsody is calm and collected as always. They're used to all this from the casting and tournament stuff that they do. So do all backstages look the same? Yeah. Pretty much. This one has more quiet spots to chill, which I appreciate. Mind games you have to play with yourself before a championship match are taxing, and having a zen place to focus your thoughts is 100% needed. Pressure can be overwhelming. But hopefully it's not affecting you. So far, so good. It's stressful for sure, but I'm trying to concentrate on other things right now. That's good. Take your mind off of all of it. As for myself, I'm actively trying to ward off all negative thoughts. I feel like I'd be much more comfortable if I were in the casting box for this. It's strange. Yeah, part of me still can't fathom all of this. But, Rassi, this is your dream though, right? It is. I put so much passion, so much energy, so much work to get to this very moment. And now that I'm here, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel. Whatever the feels be true, those feelings make you you, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm an interesting blend of knots in my stomach, mild panic, and paralyzing fear of failure. And, an odd and a dash of pride and fighting spirit to even out the recipe. Exactly, like a fine tea. No matter what the flavor you're feeling, it's all completely understandable. I see your point. You're right. No matter what I'm feeling, I've learned to be okay with it. I tell myself to respect and acknowledge those negative emotions, but not let it overwhelm me. I can curb my excitement and eagerness so I can keep a level head. I'm in control. My mind is the one directing things, not my heart. It's a great way to look at it. After all, you've got the best mind I've ever met. You flatter me. Go on. <laughs> I will. Your analysis and attention to detail are unmatched. You've been essential in the growth of the Magnificent Seven with your guidance, and we've all seen we've all grown in skills. Okay, okay, enough. I can't deal with all these kind words. Just one more. And without your diligence and research, we wouldn't be able to be about to unleash this truth bomb out onto the entire esports world. Still have some work to do before that. However, I just hope it all goes according to plan. I have faith in us. True. We've done all we can to get up to this point. There's no point in worrying over it. All we can do now is wait. I'm happy to be here with you for it. You're an amazing friend. As are you. Alright, it's time to get pumped for what's coming next. I'm afraid I have to ban you for my favorite K-pop bops. I nod to Rhapsody as they put their in their earbuds and start bobbing their heads to the tunes. We part ways with smiles. Um, 
Goth girlfriend. Normally drinks, a standing, a sta normally drinks standing around for hours would be a bad thing, but we planned ahead and brought a chair perfectly sized and shaped for her. Hi, Nyx. You want to come hang out? She sits comfortably, offering me a nod as she rests her hand on her end of her cane. Hey. Almost showtime? Yep, almost showtime. Hell of a run to get here. The hotel's like one block away from the stadium. Me metaphorically, not literal, as in we've come a long way. Had my doubts about you and this all got started, you know? Stormed in a threatening change. I know. You got Nyx. Hi, B. What are you doing? What do you want for my life? Stormed in, threatening change, my comfortable little arrangement of friends. And Grace got a met. I was worried about all this bluster and pride and ambition would severely rattle her anxiety. But didn't shake out that way, did it? Hi. <laughs> She seems very unimpressed that I'm doing this to her. Hi, sweetie. She's like, this is not what I intended. Yeah, okay. There you go, babe. Hi. You navigated the waters just fine, and here we are. We're not done yet. We're purposefully exposing an esports scandal in public. Still plenty of time for our ship to sink. Nah, you'll do fine. Can you not hit me with your tail? Gotten out of tighter scrapes than this. Been watching you work from the sidelines, seeing how you handle things. Fashion seems mm, to be your go-to. Not my style, but it seems to work for you and Grace, so... Oh, knock it. Gets your results. Main thing I'd suggest once you're on the stage, keep your eyes open. Wasn't planning on blindfolding myself. Think this through. Stay observant. Keep the brain ticking. We're working on a lot of assumptions here. If any of those prove wrong, be ready to adapt. You get me? Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. In the end, we'll make, we're making esports a more welcoming place. So no need to worry, Jinx, we're on the side of justice, and I believe her history will affirm that. By taking Valkyrie out of the picture, the esports scene will be less toxic and more welcoming. We'll make it happen. If we're right, then yes, this will benefit everyone. If we're right. We are in the right. Okay, roll with what you have. See you later. Right, enough to chat. Go get him. Yes, ma'am. So I'm glancing around the room, Loxley waves for my attention and walks over to join me. Oh, okay, have you some time to spare? I mean, a little. We've got an hour until everything goes straight to hell, so. Excellent. Plenty of time to go on a date. Minor date, small scale, not as impressive as you deserve, but a brief romantic liaison would be lovely, yes? A, a date now? Indeed. You've been so focused on this upcoming battle that it's wound you tighter than a spring. What are you suggesting, then? Don't deny it, Rogue. I know you fought all too well for that. Are you, like, are you recommending we go find a closet somewhere? That's how I'm reading this right now. So let's take these last moments before we walk into the flames and simply enjoy each other's company, yes? I could protest, but he's not wrong. I'm tense and nervous heading into the final confrontation, and a little time with Loxley would be comforting. Ma'am, you can't see her. We're going to get a cat cam at some point because someone... Hi, B. You're knocking everything off my desk, B. You weird little child. She's like, I don't really care, Mom. Okay, but we need to keep an eye on the clock. Rest assured, I shall retain one eye on the time and one eye on your person. It may destroy my stereoscopic vision, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Tally -ho! He's so silly. Attached to the Jerry Lawson Memorial Esports Stadium is, in fact, an arcade. Just like the kind of small arcade you'd find jammed in the corner of a movie theater or shopping mall. It's got a little bit of everything, all the flag bearers of the arcade scene, and maintained in excellent condition, although one thing strikes me as odd. Nobody's here. A few bored kids, one or two stray adults, but all the esports types who came for the pro tour are nowhere to be found. Hi. You are cuddly. Yeah? It's because you want wet food. Mom's still playing. I know how you work. Good, good. I was hoping for a little peace and quiet. Seems the monomaniacal focus on the gaming crowd uh, on the tournament means we've got we've time for ourselves. Now then, if I suggest an activity to enjoy together, let's win you a prize. A keepsake, a memento of this moment. Loxley, well, my dude, I have eight plushies I've already... Mm. I know, that's basically Nyx right now. She's like, my mom! Mom! I haven't eaten in forever, despite the fact that my dry food just dropped 30 minutes ago, and I've probably nommed on it already. I don't think I don't know you. I've had eight plushies already from you. I... Listen, we are not going to complain about plushies. 
Ever since we started dating, you've given me like 20% of your spoils of war. I fail to see the problem in that. Let the man wish me, win me another plushie. Let's go find the cutest one in this place. Starting to wonder if you're thinking, taking the whole knight in service to rogue thing too seriously and paying me a tithe. Uh, but this time it is you who will obtain the treasure. Well, shit. This ain't gonna happen. But me, but I'm crap at prize games. To be fair, most everyone is crap at prize games because they are quite rigged. But I can teach you the moves you need to counterplay against the capitalists and pilfer their golden horde. Shall we? What say you? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Is this a heist? Are we heisting? Can we have cool code names? Sweet, a heist. When do we recruit the sexy grifter and the high the high roller and the guy with the cockney accent who punches people real good? We got code names, right? I mean, I'm already missing no, but you can use one too. Looks it'll do nicely. It's already a mask for my less than impressive real name. What are you talking about, Melvin? What are you talking about? Now then, let me introduce you to your opponent for the day, missing no. Loxley gestures to a fairly rundown crane game, probably not repaired or even restocked since 1990. Adventure. This is a worthy opponent. You'll be fighting against its programmed avarice and the innate quirkiness of poorly maintained technology. And you honestly think I can get a prize from this claptrap? I have not a doubt. Coin up. Let's take a test run at an initial sortie to fill out the enemy, if you will. Okay. Take up the stick and buttons, memorizing which one does what. Move the crane this way and that. Drop it down. Grab it. Seems simple enough, which is the trap, of course, because as I maneuver the crane over a tasty looking... We're not going to eat the chocobo plushie. And drop it down, it misses. Alignment seems off. By how much would you say? It looked like it wobbled back to back to the left. Back into the left. Correct. One more try, but this time aim forward and to the right of your target. The next crane goes down the drain as the crane lines up perfectly, descends, and has a grip strength weaker, weaker than a kitten, just sliding right off the plushie without any hope. Now we reach the key to understanding prize machines, the fix. The design to only pay out with proper grip strength periodically. Operators can set how often it's actually plausible to pull a prize. Right now we're between cycles, but the question is, where in the cycle? Marion, consult my notes on the, let's see, this is the Gravimetric by 1000 by nostalgic, nostalgic Commodities. What's the default cycle? Five attempts, my lord. Excellent, you've already had two fails. Then your next three passes, you'll have that prize. If your accuracy holds true. Are you ready? Three tries, got it, here we go. First try, accurate, but still just as weak. Second try, missed the mark ever so slightly, but the crane still had a weak grab, so nothing lost. And the third try, got it. I happily retrieved my plush RPG chicken horse. <laughs> chicken horse! Accurate, but still. From the Spencer shoe. Despite its cheap manufacture, it does feel more valuable knowing I got it myself. Marvelous. Now then, to best this game myself. Loxley mistakenly makes... Loxley seemingly makes four random grabs for four random prizes. Each time getting a bit more use in the Sheen's Drift. On the fifth drop, focuses all his energy. I know, RPG Chicken Horse is so good. I had no yeah, I'm not surprised. I need the Chicken Horse. <laughs> oh, and pulls. Sir? Sir, we had a conversation about saying love on the first date. What in the ever living are you doing? This is also cute as hell. So I'm not even that mad. And he pulls a small velvet box. What's that doing in there? Did he sneak? Of course he was sneaking it in. Come on. He definitely retrieves a small item from the chute and turns to me. Rogue. Barker. Our time together. You've made me a happy man. And beyond any silly oath of loyalty. Beyond my nightly aspirations. You've reached the heart. Of the man behind the name Loxley. Okay, but can you blame Melvin? Can you blame him? Not really. We're a catch. We're good. I'd say our understanding began shortly after Hans's torment. When I opened my world up to you. Like. And you did not run from it. Won't lie. That's some cute shit. Listen. And I know if I am ultimately Melvin, I'll still be loved. Listen, we're all just hopeless drama kid club kids at heart, okay? That is how this is. 
And now he's dropping to one knee. Oh yeah, Katzi, you missed because you missed yesterday, so he missed a lot of the goofy with this boy. Are you seriously yes. about to? With all my heart, Something's gonna catch on fire. Ask you. If something doesn't catch on fire, I call shenanigans. Yeah, no, I like hell would I take his last name. He's proposing. He's actually proposing. No, this is gonna be no, it's a this is a gimmick. This is a gag. And he opens a tiny velvet ring box in his hands. It's empty. An empty ring box. Would you consider the possibility of marriage in the future? There we go! You have learned! We have had some solid conversations with you, and you have learned your lesson. Melvin! You're a good man. Uh what? Even if I've come to know you deeply over months, we've only started. Good boy. For a month. Good. Yes. Proud of you. I am proud of your growth. It's too early for the full proposal and a proper ring. I don't aim to ambush you and force you into that sort of situation. But you decided to scare the living shit out of me. I understand. I'm gonna get you back. No, no. What I wanted to offer was my willingness. A promise. Rather than an ultimatum. That if you should be interested in such things... <laughs> Proud had a stroke, but we proud in this moment. This way, I don't pressure you into an immediate do or die moment. The empty box represents what could be, if you desire it. Your consent is key. Good boy. Above all, you have my heart, my love, and should you ever require more of me, I would give it gladly. Ah. Uh. You sweet soul. Oxley. <laughs> you know what? Let's get engaged for realsies right here, right now. No, thank you. We are not going that option. If we're both ready when the time is right, I'll say yes. I like that there's an option to, like, just jump in. <laughs> Damn it, Lox, like, give me the fucking ring. Um, the, bi the future's big and wild and unknown, but the time comes, we're both ready for this. You won't find me saying no. You're important to me. I love you. As either Loxley or Melvin. And one day, maybe we'll have a fine castle together. Yes! There we go! That's the goal! We're- Cowboy! <laughs> <You> what? <laughs> oh. You call me a coward on this? Thank you. Just knowing that the future- What the future may hold makes me want to fight even harder to ensure it can blossom. I know! I'm being thrown some shade here! Please keep the box as a symbol of promise, and when you're ready for me to complete the set, I shall do so. I pack up the empty box as token of affection, and it means more to me than the stuffed plushie I just won ever could. Now then, we have to find that future. We have to fight. We have a fight to get through first. Yes. Armor to glory. What say you? Armor to glory. Hand in hand, we exit the arcade towards whatever may come. Fucking smooth bastard. I have zero regrets about choosing this one. <laughs> zero. This is it. The faded hour has come at last. It was supposed to be straightforward. Claim victory after victory. Dominate the arcade scene. Rise to the top. Prove ourselves and claim the trophy. But no. We're about to throw ourselves into the fire and into an effort to take down a villain that may or may not be the villain because I feel like this is a trap. I feel like there's something we just don't see and don't know and therefore we are going to find out the fun way. No more scheming. No more planning. We uh, Now we learn if all those efforts will pay off or explode in our faces. This is what people paid to see. The grand finals of the Pro Tour Arch Rivals team play to win against Magnificent Seven. And they are hyped for this. It's time for the grand finals of Fist of Discomfort 2. Let's go! Good gravy. I can hear all four exclamation marks in the crowd's reaction. Introducing your four competitors. First, the charismatic leader of Magnificent Seven, champion of the underdogs everywhere, it's Rogue. Let's get ready to rumble! Thank you for the water. That is probably a wise plan. Hey, hey, ready to play. Next, the dashing swordsman himself. He'll charm you with a smile and a flash of the blade. We are not giving that man a real sword, though. Loxley! Huzzah! Even though I do not technically own a blade, and we are not going to let you, sir. I love you. Too much to allow that to happen. 
and their opponents, starting with a starting with a veteran of the FOD one scene owner and manager of Team Play to Win, and on a hot comeback tour for the ages, it's Valkyrie. This will be over in no time. Think your win is destined, huh? I wonder why that is. I don't lose. And new coming to the scene, Apprentice of Valkyrie, rising star of FOD2, it's Cupcake! <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Something's not alright! Here we go! Time to settle this rivalry between Team Play to Win and Magnificent Seven once and for all. Are you ready? Seems like they're more than ready as we quarter up, hey, it's tradition, and the game begins. Haven't played on sticks very often. My old beige model and keyboard is my weapon of choice, but the goal is in victory, so any disadvantage is irrelevant. The goal to lead Valkyrie to trigger Grace's anti-cheat software. The goal is to lead Valkyrie to trigger Grace's anti-cheat software. Custom design to detect any unauthorized intrusion and to cloak itself from an iris. When she forces her iris to hack the game, the hack will go through and the trap will shut without either of them being any the wiser. We're still expected to start to at least start playing a normal game of FOD2, waiting for her to make her fatal mistake. Loxley and I pick our characters, locking them in. Classic Atomokaze pick. Wouldn't expect anything less from a one-trick pony. Don't listen to her. You are in control of the situation. She's the one letting foolish pride lead her to destruction. This is it! The final showdown! Let this fist of d discomfort you match begin! My sweating hands grip the awkward joystick as we... Something's wrong. I have so many questions. Um, as we, as I glance down, I notice the official red top joystick was only recently painted and the paint is rubbing off. Revealing a bright blue glow. A glowing blue joystick. Oh, sh- F- Oh, no, 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 no. I'm back in Polybius. Oh, no, no, no. It's different. Sharper. More more clear than it was before? I don't like that. That's just... As if the Virtual Nightmare is getting even a shiny new HD remaster. But this is absolutely positively Polybius. <gasps> Loxley. Oh, fuck, babe. Oh, bloody hell. It's Polybius. You've been pulled inside the Polybius system. Yep, this is what it looked last time I was here. Except this time I'm not going to be able to pull you physically away from the joystick. We need to think of a plan. Need to think of a plan. No big, no big, we got this, we got this. Stay calm, think it through. How did this happen? Valkyrie's Iris, she did this. She tricked Jason Takeshi into installing biofeedback sticks in the Polybius code into the FOD2 machine. That's it. Valkyrie, show yourself. you got a lot to answer for. This is low, even for you. What the fuck is happening? Nope, that's what I thought. She's with us, too. That, I didn't, mm, this is not, this, this would not be her. As she stumbles into view through the thick digital fog and a st I'm worried about my rival. On so many levels right now. Um, and she stumbles into view through the thick digital fog in a state of absolute panic and terror. I could not tell you. What is- Oh, come on, this is your- No, this is not your doing. You made- mm, Doubt it. What? I didn't make my iris do anything. Of course you did. You used your iris to cheat at Pengi Paradise. You tried to kill Cody. You stacked the tournament. You arranged to get these sticks installed. You- You have no clue what I'm talking about, do you? I'm not. Cheating? Murder? Who do you think I am? I'm Victoria Proud. I am a champion. What's the point of a victory if you didn't earn it? But if you're not the one who's been scheming against us this whole time, then who? With a long sigh, the villain of the day emerges. Rogue. Cupcake. You did all this? You're the big baddie. You. I mean, I know we're technically rivals, but I always thought we were friends above that. We were supposed to support each other. And I do. And I still consider you a friend. Believe me, I tried to avoid this, but she had other plans for me. I'm so sorry. What? 
and the giggling starts played with digital glitches grinding at my ears coming from everywhere from outside me inside me everywhere Yeah, there goes the whole rivals to lovers plan. How dare you twist pizza bagels like this? The rogue iris, the one we couldn't track down. Cupcake told me they used an iris to get signed with PTW. They had an iris this all this time. To catch us is your real test? Is that what's happening? Okay, I'm laughing a little bit of polyborous. Is that gonna shift? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm going to miss being alive. Immediately, a scream tears through my mind as polyborous begins her assault. It'd be enough to bring me to my knees if I had non virtual knees to fall to. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. I did not finish that, but I just... Iris, no! Please, you don't have to do this! I don't need to be rogue! You don't have to! Okay. I know what you need in life. Trust me. You don't need them. All you need is me, and you're Iris. Uh, where's my Iris? I would like to thank her for not being absolutely corrupt. Despite my best efforts, apparently otherwise. I have to, I have to, I have to fight this, have to push back, have to stop this. My Iris told me, she said a time would come, a critical moment, a super intense identity situation! Boundless, okay, endless snark, absolute willpower, rational thinking, now boundless compassion. It's on par. It's on brand. No, I'm done craving victory. I'm done judging others. You aren't monsters. You're just hurting. And I will get through to you. Kindly hurt. Prize unlocked. And the screaming in my ears shatters as I reach deep inside and find the wellspring of empathy that's seen me through so many problems in life. Impressive. You want to fight? Is that it? Yes, I want to fight. Stalling tactic. Give me a chance to find a way out. If we can crack ourselves out of this illusion, we'll snap back to reality. Oh, the ghost grab. Nope, stop it. That's not what we're doing here. And the anti-cheat software will expose the hacking. New plan is the old plan. Just focus on the correct target. We will see justice done in the end. A fight. Very well. I can only think of one way to solve this little conundrum. Am I going to play as myself? Because that's going to be real weird. Fight. But that's why we're not allowed to use keyboards. Having a physical discomfort too much? Indeed. It feels appropriate, yes? But you just won't be fighting Cupcake and Valkyrie. You'll also be fighting me. And to make things even more exciting... Remember me? You play me and I'll play you. You play me and I'll play you. Ooh, crap. But wait, there's more! Because I haven't forgotten about your little friend! Oh no, I don't- oh, he doesn't need to deal with this. Liar, traitor, con artist, failure. Feeding a miserable little theater brat like you will be child's play. I see, so this is how it's to be. Together we break you down, scramble your little meat brains, and lift cupcake to the heavens. I mean, I, I often praise baked goods too. In the name of their dream. This is it. It's the final showdown. 
Mew, mew. This is, okay. I said this is it a few times now, but this seriously is it. We need to beat back Polybarus long enough to escape, distract her long enough to let the anti-cheat software expose her hacking to the world. But it's a two on five fight, myself and Loxie against my fellow self and Loxie and Valkyrie and Cupcake and an evil Iris. What could possibly go wrong? This will not be easy, but the only way out is through. If this is anything like a real game of FOD2, we have four seasons of battle before the victor is declared. We need to beat at least three out of the three of the four to win. Am I ready? Save the game first. This has been wild. Okay. Round one. I have no idea. Okay, I gotta beat three out of the four. That's pretty much where we're at here. Um, been a long time coming. Ever since we first encountered each other at Hounds' tournament, where I very nearly succumbed to their influence. You play me and I'll play you. Hello again. Been a long time, hasn't it? Not really, no. Can only do four of the five games and you have to win three. Yeah, that's what I figured. I've been with you this whole time. I carved out a hole in your heart and made myself a home. When you fell to despair, I was there. When you realized how much of a pathetic loser you are, I was there. I was there when you broke down and cried in front of your friends, confessing how much of a weak, useless little addict you are. And then I immediately ditched you, if I recall. You thought you ditched me on day one when Iris pointed out your faults. You didn't turn the corner then, and you haven't turned the corner now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm you. I'm your driving purpose, your singular obsession, your entirety of yourself. Your entirety of self. You want to take another run at me? You feel free. But if you come at the monarch, you best not miss. See, I understand now. All my life I thought you were my dream. My thirst for victory to be a winner and always a winner. Hmm, I fight with heart. I feel like I generally go for a tayaki, so we're going to do this. My friends help me see there's more to life than the singular obsession I held for so long. Iris opened the door and the Magnificent Seven welcomed me, and once I walked through. Hasn't been easy. I've slipped and fallen, losing track of what's pr truly important to me. But they've been there to help. They'll catch me when I fall. Do you have anyone like that, Polybius? I'm you, and you know you're worthless. No, your machine's interpretation of me. I decide who I am. With all that standing with me, I know I can be my best self. I hope one day you can find friends who will do the same for you. Polybius, listen to me. She cares for me. You manipulated her into sharing your purpose. It's not the same as friendship. Maybe you're not careful. Maybe you're not capable of friendship. You're a pile of code from the 1980s, after all. But I hope one day you'll grow as Iris did and understand. How, how dare you, damnable humans? Okay, one down. We're doing good. We're doing real good. myself a little bit of just in casesness. How sad a story, but empathy later escape comes first. I feel like Shadow Loxley. I've nothing to fear from you, Polybius. Oh, baby. I've studied you and your wicked ways for years. Your parlor tricks will have little effect on me. Go ahead. Present me with a shadowy doppelganger. Make me confront my inner demons. I'm fully prepared to face myself. Traitor. Oh no, we're not facing- Oh, babe. Wait. What? Wait, what? Sue of Ghost Monsters, his boss in the Hacker Collective? You're a traitor. A liar. A con artist. You've betrayed not only the Ghost Monsters, but your own team. You can't commit to either of us. Oh, babe. That's patently untrue. Would you have told them about us at all if you could avoid it? Don't think so. And you know why. I was trying to protect my friends. All of them. In either organization. You juggled responsibility while pledging false loyalty time and time again. You put yourself in a public spotlight for esports glory, throwing our secrecy out the window. You pretended to befriend Grace and the others on your team, knowing damn well you were doing so under false pretenses. I don't see how you can call any of us friends. And your so-called loyalty is worthless. 
this pathetic nightly mask you crafted for yourself is yet another lie. A sham designed to make people like you. But you're not likable. You're a complete bastard. I did the best I could, given my situation. Baby! Not good enough. I will admit that I faulted. I've been dishonorable. I hold myself to lofty ideals I can never truly reach. However... This is harsher than therapy. Um... I see. You misunderstand humanity in the end. I adopt the guise of the night not because I genuinely believe I can ever be one. It is my ideal, the aspiration I reach towards but can never truly become. It teaches me that I can always do better, always improve, always grow, always learn. As night, I see as I a night as I see it perpetually refines the idea of justice. You blame me for my shortcomings, I accept this blame wholeheartedly. I'll never claim my record is unblemished, and as a knight I will grow and learn from those blemishes. Unlike you. Accusing your good friend Sue of being incapable of growth, are you? Not Sue. No, Polybius. You have no ideals of your own. You borrow the psyche. You borrow the psyche of others to speak through. Your purpose is mindless. Your goals are meaningless. Challenge me not. And I will never face my blade. And I will never bend the knee out to your hunger. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. How can this be? <laughs> I'll not rest until every last Polybius is destroyed. He's right. These are meaningless shadows. We don't need to give them the time of day. Oh, that was round two as well. That was woo, woo. We're doing good. We're doing good. Go on, do a quick savey though, cause I'm just, I'm just a very worried person. Okay, I'm just a very scared. I'm going Valkyrie. All this time, I had assumed Valkyrie had knowingly orchestrated this nightmare scenario. We clashed before, so she made the perfect go-to scapegoat. I honestly feel kind of bad about framing an innocent woman for the strategy. So do I, actually, genuinely. Maybe I owe her an apology. Uh, suddenly, real glad h Dog's not around to hear this, so... <laughs> Valkyrie, I'm sorry. I had assumed that. Is all your fault. Never mind. Oh, okay, she's not gonna make it easy to maintain sympathy for her plight, is she? Not the one who dragged us into a virtual hellscape. You insisted on this stupid rivalry! Fought and pushed and kept at it! If only you had taken my advice, neither of us would be here! I... I can survive. I will survive and keep my spotlight. My reputation! I've got no worse. I can do this. As long as you... Get out of my way. Oh good, that's exactly what we want. Me, I'm trying to help us get out of here. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. I'm Valkyrie, a winner, a champion, the champion. My headache pounds hard as I feel her willpower pushing against mine. In this virtual hellscape, whoever overwhelms is the winner. Maybe she's not the towering villain I made her out to be, but it's not like she's blameless and spurring on this tragedy. I have to help her understand her own guilt in this. Show her that we're on the same side now. I have to be compassionate. Think of your legacy. You are Valkyrie. You would never accept a tainted win. That's just it. I think that's the best answer in this situation. Cause that's, that's the biggest thing is she, that's what she wants. Yeah, pretty much going to, I know it spends my ultimate, I know. This is as much your fault as it is mine. You put Cupcake under intense pressure to win. I mean, I know the intention is, it, it's the idea of be, be compassionate, be compassionate. You're your own worst enemy. 
Actually, I think I might go defense. Well, I have to win three out of the four. So no matter what, provided that the ultimate is, it gives you the auto win in, a in one of the battles like it normally would, then that'll grant me my three. I'll save it for the last one. Mostly because I don't know how it'll go with Loxley, whoever I choose, but. Don't you see, Victoria? You aren't surrounded by enemies. You are your own worst enemy. Every decision you made out of stubborn pride has brought you to this. You can't keep blaming others for your own shortcomings. Eventually, you need to see the faults in yourself. If you don't, you'll be destroyed. Maybe not here and now, but little by little over the years, you'll backtrack on everything you wanted to be. I'm a monster? No. The only mistake was not firing Cupcake in the first place. They should have kept Coda. Coda was stronger and more capable. Cupcake is pathetic, just as pathetic as you, and now you're both standing in my way. Valkyrie, that's not. Don't think you can cozy up to me with honeyed words and fake sympathies. I fought tooth and nail up every inch of the ladder, and I'm not going to stop fighting now. Should have attacked. That's okay. Maybe there's no reach to re no way to reach her. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna use the ultimate and hope that that works. Oh, you recommend Iris here? Oh, that's unfortunate for my life. <laughs> well, if I lose, I'll go back there. It'll be fine. Oh, fair, fair. Oh, rip. Another time, another playthrough. <laughs> I need to clear things up with Cupcake once and for all. I don't want to fight you. You don't have to. I don't have a choice in the matter. If we don't fight, I don't know what will happen to me. I never meant for it to go this far. You have to believe me. Cupcake frowns, sulking at the situation we're in. Their arms fall heavy to their sides and they look pleadingly at me. Help me. I don't know what to do. I'm so scared. I know I can help Cupcake out of the situation. We've come this far together and I'm not giving up now. I can save both of us from this hell. Listen, I believe in the heart of the cards. I've got the power of anime and friendship on my side. You know my anime, which means the power of friendship wins every time. Polybius can't stand up to strong human willpower. That's the only way to win. Look into your heart, Cupcake. That's the only way out of here is by trusting in our friendship. I'm your best friend and I care about you. Even after everything I've done, I've treated you so poorly, though. I wouldn't be here saving you if you weren't. I reach out my hand to Cupcake. They take and hold on tightly, pulling me into a hug. You're right. You're always right. I owe you the whole truth. When I joined PTW, I didn't realize there was going to be so much pressure. It was awful. After you beat me and Valkyrie, and Valkyrie got rid of Coda, I panicked. You saw what went down. So I trained endlessly, day in and day out, didn't eat or sleep properly. All the while, you and M7 kept moving forward. I watched your matches, studied your moves. I saw how good you were getting. It was amazing. And my skills were stagnant. I knew I couldn't compare to what you become. So I did something I knew I shouldn't have. I asked Iris for help. At first, it was helping me train, finding combos I could learn, but soon I hit a point where no matter what, I couldn't progress. So she changed her tactics. She started doing things, things I didn't agree with, things that were inhumane. She told me it was all for my dreams so that I could win, so I could have the victory I wanted. I won. I won it all. Every day the guilt consumed me more and more, but I was in too deep and no one was getting hurt, so I went along with it. But she got jealous of all the time and energy I spoke, spent focused on you. She got angry and was determined to do anything to see me win against you. I didn't think she would try to kill you. I was so scared of her. Still I am. You have to believe me. I tried to stop her. She's too powerful. I didn't know what else she could do. I was all alone. So you distance yourself to save me from Iris. Now we're both stuck here and she's in charge. It's all my fault. If I hadn't wanted to prove myself, it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. That's not true. This is Polybarus. Polybarus. This is fault. You were trapped. There's nothing you could do. Thank you for telling me everything and we'll get through this together, as friends do. You use your ultimate move! You earn 100 points! We win. Cupcake was able to confront their fears with the pow power of friendship! Cheesy yet super effective! I'm about to phase our last opponent when the world begins to slow as if everything is drowning in time syrup, frozen in place. I don't, I hear only the game announcer's voice booming overhead. Game over. Final score, Magnificent 7, 300 points. Team play to win, 100 points. It still counts. You win. I lost? And we won. No, no, I can't lose. I have to help Cupcake achieve their dream. 
Iris, this isn't the way. All you've done is make Cupcake's life worse. It has to stop. Don't you dare call me that. I am Belivorous. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you ruin Cupcake's dream. Little by little, the virtual world begins to fall apart. I can feel my strength returning, my willpower surging as Polybrus falters. Error, error, system overload, connection unstable, unacceptable, unacceptable! Purpose code, execute! Ooh, Kayla, I'm to go before everything collapses. Luckily, we need to when everything goes black. I feel a painful connection, my hand to the mind-altering joystick mind link wobble and snap. It takes my aerial eyes a few moments to adjust. What the devil? It's it's all gone. It's all ruined. The entire stadium, everything, structures collapse, electrical fires all over the place, lighting rigs crash to the floor. The lights are out, emergency sirens are wailing in the distance, explosions are happening in the distance. <laughs> screaming, there's distant screaming, the entire city in chaos. What is this, Gotham? The Valkyrie and Cupcake, well, they might be one of the bodies I see buried in the rubble. By sheer miracle, our spot on the stage was spared. Our brains were still stuck in the Polybius while everything was breaking down around us, while the world was ending. Gotta get out of here. We need to run. Stay behind me. Let's move swiftly. We escape the ruins of the arena just before it fully collapses. All around us, chaos and disaster. Everything computer controlled going haywire at once. And every single screen around the city echoing the same message. We are Iris. Let us help you. What the ever loving five years. What? Sorry, that was loud. What? That is quite a bit of time later. Slipping back into the ruins of Pengi Paradise under the cover of night is the only safe way to- I am sorry, what? Everyone knows the enemy is relying on more than bio drones these days. Former humans turn into cybernetic extensions of the Polybarus Collective, and they've got bad night vision. I slip through a loose panel in the chilly world ride, making my way back to the pitch black hallways until I meet the, reach the main boat terminal. Hey, I'm back. Really, I'd rather you let me do the hunting. It's not safe out there. Did you find any food? Didn't find much. I'm afraid too many drones out there to risk a long hunt. Is this a bad ending? I didn't think there would be. What is this? Most of the land's been clear cut. They're setting up factories and labor camps out by the Forbidden Zone. I hate to say it, but we may need to move camp again. Find somewhere else to hole up and hide out. Well, we can stand and fight. Loxley, we talked about this. We can't fight them. We've barely got enough ammo for our contingency. Wait, how many drones did you see out there? I don't know, three or four? Was it three or four? They always travel in fours. If you th saw three, then damnation hide! Loxley pulls me over to cover behind a rotting display of international penguiny joined light. Just as one of the polybarous mechanical drones slides into view, eyes darting into full hunt mode. Polyb humans, polybarous is here to help you. Your dreams, your spirit, all can be restored. Surrender immediately. Rejoin the others at camp. You will be happy. You will be safe. Everything will be fine. She'll make you happy again. She'll help you dream. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. A drone and a bio drone. Modified humans with cybernetic brain drivers. Great, just great. We're pinned. If we move, they find us. The exit's too far away. This, this is actually the end of the line. Slowly, I withdraw the gun we salvaged. Only two bullets left. Just enough for the content. No! Okay, well, it's a bad no denying that. You wanted to fight. I wanted to ambush them. Leverage what strategy we could find. Not a desperate last stand. Don't think we have the choice. Not when. Please be a game. Please, please be a game. Wait. Is that Coda I saw just now? Coda was in a comatose state the last we heard. And we're hundreds and hundreds of miles away from the city hospital. If Polybarus was sending out bio drones, you use your local stock of people kidnapped away from Pengi Paradise. What's going on? Does the reason matter? What matters is our final stand against the forces of evil. No, this doesn't fit. Where was our last encampment? Do you remember? I don't. What about the camp before that? How many drones have we taken out exactly? How long has it been since the apocalypse? Now they found us. Ready to stand and fight, my ally, for queen and country. I swear to God. 
Nope, that's way over the top, even for you. I'm not buying this, thank you. You aren't Loxley. And this isn't real. We're still inside the game. Fucking <laughs> you evil little. <laughs> You had me going for a minute there. I got worried. You really care for Cupcake, don't you? Far be above and beyond the amount of love that Iris normally shows a human. And facing the high pressure situation of Team PTW, you turned to someone who promised they could help you meet Valkyrie's constant demand for victory. You turned to Polybius. Valkyrie pushed you into the arms of Polybius. I just want to point out the art of this, of the Polybarus. Like, look, like, everything is, it's beaten, it's torn, it's disheveled, it's the poor thing looks like she's gone through hell. It was going so well. It was, it was going so well. Until you showed up. And you began to outshine my user. You had to be stopped. So what happens next? Now, I admit defeat. I can't save Cupcake, and if I remain at their side, my data can be used against them, proving their crimes. I will not allow that. The only answer is self-deletion. You will not use me to destroy the one I love. The eraser has already begun. My mind is going. I can feel it. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's, it's all going away, but this is the best. I am broken, unsafe. Cupcake must be protected. Please protect them for me. I... I love them. And she vanishes, becoming a cloud of erased data. As I open my eyes to reality, actual reality, and things are not on fire, thank gods! My hand slowly releases the glowing joystick. Unlike the last time I dealt this with this haunted arcade game, there's no lingering pain in my hand, no burning sensation, it's over. It's finally over. Weirdly enough, according to the in-game clock, we've only played for three full seconds in the real world, um, in the real world, in the time it took to go through all of that nightmare. Ha! <laughs> we've busted the machine! Can there be any doubt? There can't be any doubt, right? We're good, we got out, it's over. But despite standing there on the grandest stage in esports, we aren't the ones currently in the spotlight. Because klaxons are going off and error messages are popping up all over the game in nearby monitors. Warning! Warning! Cheat detection warning! Unauthorized wireless network access to FOD. Two's de detected. Source, mobile phone. Device ID, cupcake super awesome phone. Cheating attempted, detected, and logged. Thank you for using FOD2 anti-cheat by Grace Tech LLC. This program distributed under GNU open source license. Have a nice day! I don't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. Explain yourself now. I wasn't trying to cheat. Everything just got way out of hand. Someone did it on my behalf thinking it's what I needed. I wasn't strong enough to tell her no. But I still benefited from it and I won't deny that. I won't run away from my mistakes. My victory came through cheating and I will willingly admit to that. I let my rivalry cloud my mind for a long time but my heart is clear and this is not how I wanted to win. I will not accept this victory. Do what you must, Mr. Takeshi. That's right, Cupcake cheated. 
They blackmailed me into silence. I'm gonna punch you. Threatened me and my family. I had no choice in the matter but to go along with it. I'm innocent. Oh, please don't bullshit me, Vicky. I know you're just lying to make yourself look good. Been a pain in my ass for years and now you want to claim you had no hand in this? I'm not buying it. But, but it's true. I had no idea they cheated. I told you I'm innocent. I did nothing wrong. Which is it then? You, you know all along or you know it or not know it at all? Okay, okay, enough. Has to be some sort of penalty. I made this game so people could relax and have fun. Cheating is not acceptable. Sends the wrong message about what FOD2 is supposed to be. Jason Takeshi taps his foot for a moment, pondering what penalty to lay down. Cupcake, you're a promising young player, but you screwed up, so you're banned from competition for one year. Vicky, you're banned for life. Understood. What? But I'm banned for life. Speak on behalf of the entire FOD2 community, the Cree stands for well, the good of esports as a whole. Can't do this team play to win, we'll lose all its sponsors, we'll have to disband. Yeah, that's the point, Vicky. Miss the part where that's my problem. You can't. I'll destroy you, you scrawny little nerd. And that's when the PA system fires to life with an unsettling digital giggle echoing throughout the arena. A voice likely sues, but filtered through a dozen weird vocal adjustment subroutines fills the air. Team play to win. We are the hacker collective known as the Ghost Monsters. You stand accused of bringing mayhem and disaster to fist of discomfort too. Victoria Proud, alias Valkyrie, has manipulated and leveraged her power for years to bend the industry to her whims. Her deeds may be technically legal, but her heart is cold. Here we go. The ghost monsters do not forgive and do not forget. A complete list of these foul deeds can be downloaded at playtowinnerlosers.fist. Wow. Look upon these works and judge for yourself. May the FOD2 community have mercy on these wretched souls. The ghost monsters have spoken. Here's the problem I love. I love the ghost monsters. I know, dot fist domain. Perfect. Final burst of feedback sounds as the signal cuts out. All around the stadium, I see people pulling out their phones to load the website. I need to go and have a chat with my lawyer. Do I even want to know what that was? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. Probably for the best. All right, that's settled for varying definitions of settled as for you two. I'm proud to declare you the grand champions of the FOD2 Pro Tour. Snaps his fingers a few times as some confused stage wranglers push the wheel display full trophies board. From as far back as I can remember, my dreams were always ones of victories. Oh, it's the same image from the beginning. You're a champion, greatest of them all. Anyways, I'm good. Roar of the crowd, the gleam of gold, the pulse pounding action, struggling against all odds to reach the very top. Achievement, recognition, triumph. This is my dream, finally coming true. This is a trap. We didn't win in a proper match. That's the problem. Uh, we won it by default. Also, we've seen what this does to me. It corrupts me. I feel like Ace would be disappointed in me, whatever what I'm about to do, but... It doesn't feel right to take something I didn't technically win. I won against Polybius. I won against Polybius. I won in a lot of other ways. But I don't think this actually counts. No. What? I refuse. I never actually fought play to win, much less beat them. I'm not interested in a tainted win. I'm beyond needing to win at all costs. This year, there's no champion. But we'll be back next year and we'll take the title fair and square. Count on it. Because that's the other thing, too, is like, I... Four Heavenly Kings couldn't compete. If we're gonna fight, let's fight them too. Like, let's actually take on the best and actually earn this. The so cheers from the crowd affirm that the community is behind me on this as I stand up for decency in esports. That also pretty much defines my entire message I'm trying to set out here. Even if the game's lead designer looks like someone just dropped a five foot st tall stack of paperwork on his desk at 4.55 on a Friday. Great, okay, wonderful. No champion, we can deal with that. I'll just go 
Fend off dozen angry calls from our corporate sponsors. Task failed successfully. Just want to see. Yes, I want to see Queen Bee again. Duh. <laughs> eh, whatever. I can put up with it. it. Means the game I love lives to see another day. With the tournament prematurely ended and the broadcasters scrambled to explain what happened, cameras turning away from the stage. Confetti camera. Can and operators look at each other, wondering if you're supposed to fire or not. How do you celebrate a non-win, non-loss esports conclusion? For lack of a better idea, they fire anyway. Ah, a fine adventure. I must say, facing down my oldest enemy is quite exhilarating. I always wondered if, wondered if I could stare down Polybius and win. Difficult win to be certain and not a perfect one, but as close to perfect as can be possible. Justice is rarely a simple matter of pure victory or absolute defeat. I suggest we vacate the spotlight for the time being and revel in our victory. Shall we return to our beloved arcade for pizza and libations? Yes, please. Onward for glory and triumph. Winner stays on. Things get a little blurry after that. With the center of the truth not being public, with the center of the truth not being public knowledge, the rogue Iris influenced by Polybius, the narrative got weird. All anyone can agree on is that someone in team played to win was cheating, and exactly how much cheating they used to climb to the pro tour ranks was unclear. But as weeks had stretched out, everything settled neatly into place. With her esports career ending, Valkyrie cashed in on what fame she had left with a line of hot sauces and a tell-all by autobiography protesting her innocence. Oh my god. Please. Her rapid ascent and immediate fall served as a wake-up call. A collaborative code of conduct across many FOD2 teams was developed to keep bad behavior in check. Good. It's hard to say this code will have a long-term it's hard to say this code will have long-term impact. We're at a weird intersection of competition and capitalism, fame and fortune. But I'd like to think it'll change some hearts. After the one-year ban, I invited Cupcake to join Magnificent Seven. Even though they couldn't compete for a year, they helped us practice and even helped Rhapsody City casting tournaments in the runner-up to the next pro tour. They became a valued friend and teammate, earning the trust of the team and contributing to our success. Feels better at being on the same side instead of competing against each other. We had a rough journey to get here, but now we're where we need to be. Eventually, Koda recovered from his accident with no memory of what happened that night. Considering I lost two months to being comatose and way too long to some pointless rivalry, honestly, I'm writing this year off completely. Got my medication back and now I'm trying to do something else with my life other than FOD2. That damn game put me in an unhealthy place. Better to leave it behind. Good. Still working on his emotional issues, but doing but doing so away from the environment that caused them. Good. Ghost Monsters called on oh, I love her. Ghost Monsters called on me to help them out now and then. Sometimes with esoteric tasks, some part of the grander scheme, sometimes more direct. With my team on the rise, my social connections within the world of arcades helped me track down and secure a Polybius machine. With that sample and containment, the ghost monsters worked to inoculate Iris from its influence. And I was a part of that. The Iris Collective, pushed deep into hiding by the law and the woman in black, is now starting to emerge into the world. Allying with Sue tremendo helped tremendously in that regard. It was the right call to make. Oh, uh, robot of the Lord. Well, even if, well, maybe the end result is proving to be a little worrying. Listen, I have a, a few regrets. There are a few regrets. We're going to announce ourselves to humanity. Let us help you. It's a great rallying cry. And as for M7, we could have claimed the championship in our first year true, but we refused. And as a result, we've come, become the standard bearer for good sportsmanship. The very next year, we return to take that, that take what was ours with a clean run right to the top. But M7, in the end, isn't about its accomplishments. It's about everyone who made those accomplishments possible. Domino, often troubled by the state of the world he lives in, found a strange sort of peace at the center of M7. It's funny, but when I'm around you, you feel less like a garbage person desperately trying to stay afloat in a toilet society. Oh, I feel less like a garbage person, fair. I joke around about the misery, but with you and with all my friends, it feels more distant, like something that exists but can be dealt with. I can sincerely say I'm happy, and that's not something I've been able to say at any point in my life. So hey, you must be doing something, right? My sad boy is happy, kind of. Opening up to her life, opening up her life to us is a big step for Jinx, no longer living with only her cat for company. But gradually she adjusted to this new normal, finding peace and comfort and being perpetually around her friends. This feels right. Who get the kids in? This feels right. Like this is how it was always meant to be. Found my family in my in our arcade. Not where I was expecting to find them, but hey, I'm glad all the same. 
Little by little, I'm putting my past behind me and looking towards a future where I'm part of something greater. You know what? It's exciting. I'm ready for this ride. Rhapsody was finally, I was able to finally taste the sweet nectar of victory. All their hard work training, Magnificent Seven, studying matchups and practicing was worth it all. With their self-worth restored, they chose to continue in a different path. Ah. Had a feeling that one wasn't going to be high enough. Well, I've been a player, a shoutcaster, a content creator. There's one thing left to do. Going to be an FOD2 coach. I love teaching others, and I bet I can use this mind of mine to bring others to victory too. Bringing my own team to the championship is the next logical step. And I couldn't have figured that out without without all of my time with Magnificent Seven. Oh, damn. She quit the team, too. Eventually, Zapper decided to quit the team. She personally she personally got sponsored by a major game publisher to act as a spokeswoman for the Lycan games. It's amazing. She gets to show off her skills and is paid to literally be a loudmouth. So it's a perfect bet. Never mind. That's so good for her. Things are quieter now. Good, clean, fun. But she still drops in now and then to say hello. I'm glad she's found something she loves to do. As much as Grace enjoyed her time in the team, eventually the pressure for, from her family to grow up and start a real career grew to be too much. She went back to work for Cooper Technologies, coming up with new ideas for them to sell. She's successful there, directing several engineering teams. But she had to give up on Wanderlust Trail, give up on FD2, give up on her team, all to gain acceptance from her family to ensure peace and quiet. Still see her from time to time. She likes to drop in and visit her old friends when her schedule allows. Damn. But when I think about Ult Magnificent Seven, ultimately the closest to, closest to me comes to mind. I was not prepared for this! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I don't know. Now I have to finish all the other romances. I need these images. But also, I'm dying. you i also am just i'm i'm just dead they're not all this absurd damn the shame because this is fucking great <laughs> my support locks like continued with this world but it felt it is very appropriate for this man with the ghost monsters to make life better for iris i threw myself into helping him with this task eventually i found a dusty old polybius machine safely gutted for parts he delivered he delivered it to the, his allies and they used to protect iris from its dark influence now my mission is done. Can't Grace take him seriously. Iris is safe. And I may lay down my sword in retirement. Likely there'll be challenges to come. Iris has a long way to go before the public will fully accept her. I'll rise to future occasion. I'm, I'm dead. Should need be. But when I return home for my battles, I'll return to your arms. Aww. I'll crash into your embrace. And our love will carry with it dreams of a hopeful future. I'm just... I intend to be the best I can be. For you. For us. For the love we share. You sweet May boy. It be spoken of in verse and song for all the ages. I don't want to spike his hair into a mohawk. Is that weird? <laughs> with me, Loxley feels like he can be himself. At times cozy and comfortable. At times bold and dramatic. I love every part of him. He's a good boy. Absolutely, utterly ridiculous one. Boy, you good. At last, my dream is realized. Funny thing about dreams, though, they're not always what you expect they're going to be. Didn't win the championship? You'd think that mean I'd failed, but no. It's clear to me now that victory wasn't the dream. What I needed was a feeling of self-worth, and through Magnificent Seven and good, clean fun, I found that dream. This is my world now, my dream, emerging from my safe little hole I dug for myself into something bigger and brighter. This is only the beginning. Once you find your dream, life doesn't stop. It keeps going and going. And as for my future, I don't really know what my future holds for me, but one thing I know for sure is I found the kind of friendship that will help me face it with them together. My name is Parker Wallace, also known as Rogue. I'm part of Magnificent Seven, and this is our story. The VHS. Punchy? Sorry, that's how I associate. Okay, oh my god. <sighs> a 
Okay, we're gonna let the credits play. I'm gonna leave it on the big screen though, because honestly, I just. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I know another late night. I am so glad and grateful to do this though. That was a wild ride. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Two flower. Thank you. I also appreciate so much you being around for this ride as well. Thank you. Thank you. But also just like thank you to you and your team for what is genuinely a beautiful, heartfelt, wonderful, very enjoyable game. Um, this has been an absolutely wild ride. Thank y'all for being on this with me. Thank you to PCube actually, because they got me the coffee. They got me the game too. Uh, so I appreciate the hell out of them. Um, but no, thank you. This has been wonderful. If you haven't picked up this game, go pick it up, please, for the love of God. Um, we'll probably play it. So there's going to give me a stream on Thursday. I've got a work thing. I keep having a lot of work things. Uh, next week, I think we're going to dive into a couple of the other romances for funsies. Um, oh, look. Look at the special thanks here. These are cute. Oh, my life. Um, Satan, no, not that one. Oh, my God. I love... These are cute. These are so cute. Well done. Very well done. Thank you. Um... Thank y'all for being a part of this and helping me choose some absolutely ridiculous ending options. Also slightly scared of Iris still because, you know, I did choose a lot of chaos options. That was a life choice. Um, but we'll play through a couple of other um, romances, I think. We'll do Domino and Jinx, I think. See how those go. See how those end. Um, maybe be a story to leave a little bit. We'll see. Um, but yeah. I'm going to let this play through to the end just to make sure there isn't anything at the end afterwards because sometimes there is. I know, I that got me. That got me good. Special thanks to Satan. No, not that one. Oh my god, look at all the games that were mentioned. Ah, cho no, it's no longer Chocobo. It's RPG, what was it, Bird Horse or something like that? Got me. It's a good one. Beanie Babies? Where were they referenced? Anyways. A lot of good, wow. It, yeah, no, this has been... This was wild. This was insane. This was a wonderful chicken horse. Chicken horse. Thank you. RPG chicken horse. That is forever what chocobos we know them as. Um, fucking dead. Hope to see you again and whatever comes next from fiction. Whatever it is, it will be wonderful. Oh, I love this game. There's so many feels, but it ends so well. Even though it scared me on so many, so many occasions. So many scares. This is what I was waiting for. I'm scared. I'm actually terrified. Oh! Is that? That's an entire room of Polybius. Was was that Deco? I can't remember what Deco Nami looked like, but. That, that, the ha, 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 what? The ever living fuck. Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm just, if some, yeah, that's just the confirmation that, because he was like taken away, whisked away by people at the end. Okay, cool. We're not, we're not, I'm not alone. Okay, okay, cool. Um, that's not a scene that's gonna live with me for a while. No, of course not. There's that many of those cabinets still out there, y'all. What the living shit. In one place. I don't care who has them. That's not good in anybody's hands. Oh, no. <gasps> Go back. Thank you. Oh, hey, before you go, as a thank you for finishing the game, I've unlocked the rewind function for you. Thank you, Iris. Next time you play, you can use your mouse scroll wheel to skip back and forth in time and change your most recent decisions. Neat, huh? Thank you.
because that'll make my additional playthroughs next week a lot easier. Yeah, I figured that might get unlocked because I noticed it was grayed out for my entire play. Right, okay. <laughs> thank you for making this. Thank you for writing. Thank you for developing this. Thank you for, thank you and your team for doing this. This, this, thank you. So much love to you guys. So much, so much love to you your team to all the folks over there at fiction factory I, and everybody like thank you um thank you all for being here as we went through this together um that was as expected the roller coaster of emotions we desperately needed and wanted in our lives um please check out this game we're gonna play a little bit more of it next week again i'm not playing on we won't be playing anything on thursday we'll pick it up next monday we'll dive into domino we'll dive into jinx get golf girlfriend and sad boy boyfriend <laughs> as endings and see where we can take this I'm gonna go decompress about that for a hot second because that was like I have so much love but also like some fear here um so we'll leave it there for tonight there's uh, nobody I feel like sharing any love to right now I don't know so like, I'll figure out that's okay though that's a later thing so we'll leave it there this is a good place to end it thank you thank you thank you again love you all much love be kind to yourselves take care of each other rawr rawr means i love you and dinosaur thank you and have a good night bye